Man to man, don't tell me to shut up. You understand? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Let me finish. Let me tell you something right now. Do not tell me to shut up. Let me finish. Do not. You need to watch your mouth. Let me finish. You need to watch your mouth. Islam's uh, ethics are based upon Allah's will, and that's bad. Uh, and it's bad because you say so. Yep. And if ah, ding, 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 ding. It's bad. Don't point your finger at me if you don't want it back in your face. You gotta chill, okay? I'm defending my country from becoming how. By burning someone's book? No, by informing citizens here about the Islam problem. The fact that you think makes you a mighty macho ten, man ten by ago. making a macho man by burning someone's holy book, ten, by harming ten. someone's beliefs and Again, values? you won't let me answer. You think that's okay? That's what you want, huh? Clout chasing. You just want please to do stop. something to please check stop people's... interrupting. Listen, don't raise your voice with me and think that's going to be okay. I'm not one of these dudes over here. You understand me? I'm not the one. I will. I'm not the one. I will. You don't want that. You, you don't want, want it with me. You, you don't want, want to smoke me. with me. I'm not one of these people. You, you feel me? I'm not one of these people. I'm a little different. Muslim. My wife. It's who? Who your wife? The Muslim. You Muslim. The your wife? When Muslims, our women, it is okay because Muhammad was. You're not a man, really, nah. Like, yeah, like you need, you need some more dignity, bro. Most of the You need more dignity. Most of the hey, times. don't tell me, hey. Most of the don't times. tell. Hey, hey, we could cut all this garbage off. Yeah, I'm not one of them. You understand? I'm not one of them. Street, street Dawa. All right, guys, Street Dawa, you know what it is. We are here right now. Islam Net in the building. Here about to meet this bum of a Quran burner. That's his title. Can you, can you believe that he identifies with this? Like, this is how he's getting clout. It's kind of embarrassing. You could pop him right over there. Take a look at him. He's right over there. Yeah, now alhamdulillah, we here though. And uh, this dude is literally responsible for helping us build this mesh. So shout out to him for that purpose. But we need to shut this down over here. All right, guys. Okay. What's going on, guys? How are we doing? You all right? What's going on? What's your name? Lars Thorsen. Uh, Lars? Lars. This is Lars Thorsen, the infamous Quran burner. Lars is the founder of an anti-Islamic terrorist group based out in Norway, who has gained publicity by burning the Quran. Lars's act of hatred has single-handedly united the Ummah to help raise over $500,000 to build Norway's first ever Dawah Center and Masjid. This is the uncut, heated interaction between me and the Quran burner from when I flew all the way from New York to Norway to not only confront him for his devilish acts, but also lead a protest against his evil actions. Guys, as you can tell right now over here, people are protesting and they're not even Muslim. You get what I mean? Like, I don't even know what they're doing, but they know that they're against this type of racist behavior. So you, do you support this type of behavior? I support uh, these people's uh, rights. By burning Qurans? Yes, why not? It is a book. Yes. It is a book that is very meaningful and close to billions of people. The same way the Bible is, the same way the Torah is, and it is wrong to do it to any book. Yes, but this is still Norway. It in doesn't Norway. make it right. So if you would like to stop the Islamophobia happening in Norway, then click the link in my description and join me in Islamnet as we make history in building the first of its kind Dawa Center and Masjid in the country of Norway. So click the link in the description and donate whatever you can. And watch this full video so you can understand this devilish actions that are taking place in Norway. Now, let's get back to the video. Lars, okay, Larry, so what's going on? What's going on? Well, we're going to have a um, um, political um, stand here talking about, okay. uh, talking about the Islam problem. Uh, Islam problem? Yes. What's the problem? Uh, the problem is um, the tenets of Islam. The, Tell me about them. Um, they, they, um, there's a lot of things. There's no golden rule. There's, uh, what do you mean there's no golden rule? The golden rule is... Um, it's a concept in uh, all the other world religions uh, except Islam. Really? What's the golden rule? It tells, uh, you, tells me to behave towards you like um, in the same way that I would like you to, um, to treat me. So treat your brother, right? So you have to treat them with goodness. That's what you're saying. Uh, that's what I'm saying. But goodness, yes. good, goodness is... Um, uh, so loving for your brother what you love for yourself. Yes. So you're saying that Islam doesn't teach that? Yes. Well, there's a narration that from the Prophet Muhammad that says to love for your brother what you love for yourself. Yes, and and uh, so it, it says that. Uh, yes, but that's the, the the important distinction here is brother, because uh, Muhammad talks about a brother, uh, aka the other Muslims, not uh, humanity. Uh, so not humanity. 
not humanity, only the brothers. Okay, so you're saying that this is only applied towards Muslims? Yes. And uh, not for general humanity? That's correct. And, um, and uh, you could say that the, the, the proof that there is no golden rule is um, you're talking about the Hadith. But uh, if there... Are we talking about a what? Uh, Muhammad says this and that. Yes. In the Hadith. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so what's wrong with that? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but if there had been a golden rule in Islam, you would have found... It but, but you keep saying this word of a golden rule, like, that's just something you've created. That's not a real thing that you've been talking about, you know? So you just keep mentioning this golden rule again and again, like that makes it realistic when there isn't. You're making up this word yourself about this golden rule. Islam teaches, like, come on, think about it, right? Even from the fact when a woman was feeding a dog and giving them water, that allowed them to earn paradise. So you're talking about how it doesn't allow you to, it only works for Muslims? Well, that's not even true. Even if you take care of an animal, the Almighty rewards you. So what are you going on about? Uh, and again, you're talking about hadiths. And uh, maybe it's right that um, a female Muslim earns paradise if she is treating a, a dog well. But still, uh, she's not allowed to treat um, non-Muslims well. Tell me the evidence for that. The Quran says that you should, um, the Muslims are brothers and they should treat uh, non-Muslims harsh and be kind. really yes. Well, if if I was supposed to treat non-Muslims harsh, right, then I wouldn't be having a lot of friends when I'm pretty popular and I'm pretty popular with everyone over here. And I would find someone who's very orthodox into my religion as well. And if Islam was that violent and dangerous that you talk about, you wouldn't be standing around me right now. I would because uh, you can behave differently in different situations. Uh, du How so? Dualism. Uh, uh, so that, but you're doing the same thing right now. No. Yes, you are. I, I am t talking about the Islamic doctrines and as I said there's a dualism here which allows you to to behave civilized towards me. So you're saying that there's a dualism that allows me to behave one way towards you and one way towards the other people? No, it allows you to, to, to behave, let me say, normal according to my ethics. Now when Islam is weak militarily... Islam is weak? Yes. It's the fastest growing religion in the world. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it, First of all, because if it was so weak that you wouldn't be targeting it. If it's so weak, then why are you bothering with this? I can answer that if you allow me to. Um, first of all, um, the, the Islam is growing. Uh, whether it's the fastest growing, that's, a, that's an argument between Christians and, and Muslims. And I don't. It's not an argument. It's, it's a statistical fact. Uh, some say it. Other. It's not some. Yeah. This is the world consensus. Okay, let's find. If, if we if we say that that's a consensus. Uh, Islam grows because the f Muslim uh, females are uh, just uh, instruments to pr uh, produce new jihadists. So, oh, so wait, wait, wait one second. So you're saying that because females are just having babies, that's the reason it's growing? When it's actually one of the fastest growing religion of acceptance right now. And Christianity, a lot of people tend to leave it and come towards Islam. Why is that? The Christians say the opposite. So, and uh, are you a Christian, by the way? I don't know. No, no I, that's not uh, not uh, not uh, relevant. Of course, it's relevant. Of course, because you said about every single religion has a golden rule, right? So I don't know what religion you follow, but what golden rule do you follow, which allows you to do what you're doing? The the, the um, uh, humanities, you know, the, the no what human ethics. The what human ethics allows you to burn someone's book that's valuable to them, but you don't even do that to a Bible or Torah. The, because I am not uh, the stop uh, the judification of Norway. I'm stop Islamization of Norway. But, but time on once again. So you're not. So you've targeted Islam specifically. What's your love and infatuation with Islam? Because you're obsessed with it. It's obvious. I'm not obsessed with. Of it. Of course you the, are. The problem. If Islam is so weak, okay, Islam. You said it. Islam is so weak. So why are you targeting the weak, right? Why don't you target something that's more growing according to you? Instead, you want to target this weak religion when you know it's not. Instead, you're a cloud chaser. That's what you're really doing. Okay, I'll answer that. Go ahead. Uh, Islam is not weak on a world basis. Islam is weak in Norway at the moment because there's not that much Muslims. Let's say 10 percent. Okay. Um, but um, in other areas uh, where Islam is dominating, Islam is strong. Of course. Okay, so the reason you're doing it here is because Islam is weak, but you would never do this in a place where Islam is stronger. Is that what you're saying? 
if I did this in a in a in a country where Islamic uh, rules apply, Sharia. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that if you're saying that there's a majority of Muslim area, not about a Muslim country, because it's debatable as to what makes it uh, Islamic or Muslim country. But what you're saying is that because there's less Muslims here, you're targeting them here because it's less than 10%. No. That makes you a bully. No. Not at all. Of course. N Okay, that's your opinion. No, no, it's a fact because no, no. a bully is someone who, because they have bigger posture, they're able to target the weak. Therefore, that's the definition of what a bully does. And that's what you're doing. I'm defending my country from becoming... How? By burning someone's book? Uh, no, by informing um, the citizens here about the Islam problem. So so why... People on the, on the, on a theology that uh, commands you to invade and occupy my country. If, so, so you're telling me that the reason Muslims are here right now is because the theology says to invade the country. Is that true? It's true that the theology tells them to do that. Uh, but so, so where exactly does it say for us to invade a country and just settle over there? The Quran says that the whole planet belongs to Allah. The Quran, yes. The Quran says... It's all of the earth belongs to God. you disagree with that? Uh, you disagree that the whole... Oh, so this earth, this earth, right? The country of Norway or anything that has borders on it, it's because people have taken rule of that. But if you really boil it down, all of this, the trees, the earth, the sun, the moon, everything belongs to God. What did you, would you agree? You have to distinguish here between God and Allah because that's absolutely not, uh, absolutely not. That's your that's you're not only making an opinion. That's a falsehood as well too. Okay. I'm saying for God, forget if, if you don't want to use the word Allah, that's okay. But I'm saying, are you telling me that the earth and everything in it doesn't belong to God? That depends on whether uh, the individual, for example, me, believes in a God. Ah, if now we're talking. There we go. If you don't believe in a God, of you don't believe in a God. I haven't commented on, commented on that. I could tell you don't believe in a God because a person who believes in God wouldn't behave this way. I will have to be correct you because he said uh, the, the, wor the world, the whole planet belongs to God. Uh, yes, regard the one true God, the God of Abraham. Yeah, regard uh, the God of Abraham, the main God. The problem is that the, the Quran is quite clear. See, you keep going back to that, but you avoided the question. Don't avoid the question. I, I, I'm answering the question. Okay. And the answer is that uh, there is not only one God, there's uh, several gods. Oh, so you're saying there's multiple gods? Uh, there's there's uh, the Christian God, and uh, and there's Allah. And, uh, and the time on, time on, time on. So 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 you're saying there's a Christian God, and then there's Allah, yes. right? So is there a Jewish God? It's the same guy uh, as the Christians, except that the Christians are, are basing their moral ethics, their behavior on on uh, on Christ. Okay. Uh, and uh, the so what's what's wrong with that? Nothing. That's fine. Okay. Uh, but uh, I wasn't finished uh, uh, to uh, emphasize the distinction between God and Allah because the Quran... No, that's your Quran. distinction about it. Oh. The word, what does Allah mean? This is the second time you, you, you're uh, stopping me from... Uh, no, because you're, because you're making something that's not true because you don't even know what Allah means. That's uh, semantics only. So you, you're trying to distract... Uh, I'm not. You, you're not. I not. think it's pretty obvious okay. who's let, distracting. Let me fin finish. You, th you, you, you keep interrupting me. Go ahead. Uh, the, the Quran, uh, chapter 109, verse 1 to 6. If you read that, you'll find that... Um, um, okay, apparently we have a half of the Quran over here, guys. Yeah. So it says that um, you have your God. We have our God. See, that's where you see you gotta. You see, my my friend, listen to we, me. We, we listen, Larry. Listen, Larry. Hold on one second, right? When you're talking about this right now, even if you're gonna quote something and you're gonna make a summary of something, you gotta make sure you're doing the correct way. Otherwise, you look like a bozo. Okay. Can't do that, right? Because he's not saying you're God. You have your way of life, and we have our way of life, we and it is talking. The same. Huh? We don't worship the same. You. That's the the word is deen used, Larry. It's deen, Levon. That's what's being used, not God. That's not the word that's being used over here. So you're putting your own interpretation in something, and you're literally looking like a bozo right now. You're, yeah. But um, the, the you could also sell, say that um, uh, the ethics of Islam. Go ahead. It's, um, it's, it's the opposite of. Um, Be kind to your neighbor is is a wrong ethic. Uh, that's the non-Islamic ethic. But how so? Because the ethics of Islam um, derives from it's, it's it's based on 100% on Allah's will, the Quran. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, Allah has commanded us to be kind to our neighbors. Only the Muslim neighbors. False. 
we can false. Th this is no, no, no. That's not a, that's not a debatable thing. That's false. Yeah. Because when the Prophet Muhammad was asked about who has rights over you and what neighbors have rights over you, he commanded almost as far as your eye can see, and it wasn't specified that it had to be a Muslim or not. This is your interpretation, so that you can twist something in your direction, Larry. And anything. I I'm just uh, reading the Quran uh, loud there because you're not the the, the Quran commands. Muslims to hate uh, non-Muslims. It does. Yeah. Where? Where does it commence? Okay, several. So tell me one of them. No, but you, you, you know. Can you're, we get his face too, so we can look how ridiculous uh, he looks? I don't, I, there's uh, how many? Three thousand eight hundred verses or something. Just by quoting a number doesn't make you an expert, my friend. Okay, so you don't just have to say three thousand some hundred. That's that's a sort of tactic they're using to sound more of an expert. Tell me those several verses that call us to hate other people. Go ahead. I don't remember them. But ah, but, but yet like, somehow, but somehow, somehow, you remember that it, it's something that indoctrinated within you. How about the fact that you have hatred towards Muslims? Why? Why, why so much hatred towards Muslims? Allah commands you to hate me. And you, you really? Know, where? Yes. Okay, and show you, me where. And you have this doctrine of hate. Al -wala, al -wala. Still hasn't told me where. Uh, in the Quran. Where? Okay, and you also, say in the Quran it has 3,000 some hundred words. Go ahead. Me where? You're you, saying it's commanding you, know, you to hear. You know this is true because you know the Quran. So you're just. So you're saying that I know this is true, right? Yeah. If I knew this is true, I wouldn't be debating this about you. I know that this is a falsehood. Absolutely not. I wouldn't waste my time with this right now. Okay. Right, then, uh, right now, you've okay, done a great. Give me time. I'll find it. Oh, so now you're gonna Google stuff? No. But I, I have some stuff. He has his in his notes, guys. While 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 Levon over here is trying to like look for this over here, guys, uh, be in mind that this man is burning a book that he doesn't even understand himself. He hasn't read it himself fully with a true sincere heart. He's already here trying to make distinctions, but doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just pulling up his notes, trying to see where's verses where we're commanded to hate certain people. When, when that's not even the case. The Prophet Muhammad saw some never preached that, never commanded that whatsoever. But you know, this man over here, you know, he wants to promote that sort of stuff. So we're going to wait. Go ahead. Four one oh one. Kafir is a clear enemy for you. Uh, What's a kafir? That's a filthy infidel. What is a kafir? A kafir is a filthy infidel. You see, this is once again exposing the fact of how ignorant this man is. That's not what a kafir is. That's fine. You've been no, 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 no. That's not fine as in that's SQ's opinion. That's not what a kafir is. Kafir comes from the root word of someone who actually digs and hides things. It is a person who knows the truth, understands the truth, and still decides to cover the truth. So when you call someone a kafir, it is talking about the people who was recited the ayahs of the Quran. They understand the language of the Quran. They believe that he is the messenger of God, and there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and still they deny it that's different from an average person who that's no that's different from a person who's walking has no idea of what Islam even is you see those are different things that's not a people of a book you see once again you're proving your ignorance the people of the book which you are commanded to fight uh, 929 okay until we submit and pay a jizya or are killed well if you're if you're if you live in this country do you pay tax over here I do, but I don't. You do pay taxes. But, but I, do, I don't. And in the tax, tax, they take care. Islamic State. Time out one second. If you're in the country or Norway, you're paying tax. Correct? The GCIA is not an ordinary citizen tax. You know that. You what buy, what is it? Food. It's a tax. We have, we have someone who's, a, who's a, in, in fiqh over here. We have a, ma a master qadi over here, a sheikh over here. Tell us, what is, what is a jizya? It's a tax uh, imposed on uh, non Muslims who live in a country occupied by Muslims. And what do you get in exchange for paying this tax? You get protection from other, from the Muslims, so the Muslims don't uh, kill you. No. You do, and when no. you when you when you when you for example, if you if you lose your job, you lose your income. Where did you learn all these things? Like, who's teaching you these yeah, corrupt you sort of you, like these interpretations of things? Who who's I'm your teacher? Who's your teacher? You're learning this from someone, huh? The Quran, we also, the, Quran the same Quran that you couldn't quote, and you made a different sort of argument behind it. I can that same. You, you quoted clearly incorrectly a little earlier before. 
No, you're trying to I'm, I'm <laughs> mislead. Uh, you know, I'm not misleading you're anything. Not, you guys can. You're, you're be, you're listen, you're being exposed in 4K right now, Larry. You got to understand, I'm not doing anything. You're making yourself look like a fool. I don't got to do that, bro. You understand? You're quoting things and interpreting things according to how you want to do it. The truth of the matter is you want to spread hate. So if you're talking about the Muslim versus you who's spreading hate, let's really be honest over here. Who's spreading hate? You or I? You're going and getting someone's book and burning or is it us who's doing that? You're saying that we're doing something, yet you're the one promoting hate, hatred towards Muslims as well too. When did you realize that you were a child and you wanted to grow up to be a racist? You have, you have to... When did you realize this, that? This, this, uh, you have a bunch of questions, machine gunning questions. It's very hard to, to, to answer you. When, when, when did you realize as a child that you wanted to decide to grow up and be a Quran burner? Like, did you have like, you know, people want to be astronauts and engineers when they grow up. You wanted to be a Quran burner. Tell me more about that. That's <laughs> that's your. It's like a child dream of yours. It was like you wanted to like. It's not. Uh, we 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 have been doing a political um, activism for uh, 19 years before we burnt our first Quran. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, but you're not burning any other book besides the Quran. We are stopped Islamization of Norway. That's, okay. Yeah. So th that's. So you hate Muslims. No, M Muslims and Islam is two different things. W what's the difference? The difference is. Islam is a mindset, it's a, com a complete way of life, it's a political system, it has uh, uh, its political system with... Uh, with, um, uh, po uh, with uh, Doesn't know what he's talking about. War no, no. So what's a Muslim? War doctrines. It's uh, 164 verses about jihad. Once again, once again, you're quoting here, trying to sound like I'm an quoting, expert. I'm no, 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 no. You're trying to you're trying to thing. number drop to sound like you're some expert. You ain't an expert, homie. Huh? Let me ask you this. You're saying there's a difference between Islam and a Muslim. Yeah. What does a Muslim mean? Muslim is uh, someone who submits to and follows the tenets of Islam. There we go. So you're saying those two things are separate. Yes. How? Indeed. Because uh, if you're someone who submits and surrenders to those tenets of Islam, how are those two things separate? You said that Islam and the Muslim are two different things. Because the Muslim is made of flesh and blood. Okay. And, uh, and uh, Islam is a mindset. It's a t it's a political system for. Uh, it's it's a it's, it's it's an Abrahamic faith. It's a faith that it's a monotheistic faith that's followed by a third of the world. So a third of the world follows Christianity. Another third is Judaism, and a Muslim population is a third, and it's about to be one of the leading populations in the world. I can see why that burns you. That is that is not relevant because of course I, it's relevant. I, no. Of course no, not. No, no, no. You, you come to a minority area where there's less than 10% over here because you know no one's going to slap you for doing something like that. I and you want over here. This is my country. Okay, so, when, so do a lot of Norwegian Muslims. When I, when I was born, do a lot. When I was born, there were 0% Muslims. And, and, and why is that better for you? Why do you like that? Because I, I remember how the country was when, yeah. when we didn't uh, have this Islam problem. Okay. Uh, Islam problem. Yeah. You keep saying it's a problem when Islam yeah. is the reason this GoPro of yours is even able to function. You know that? No. Yes. And that's because a, that, that's the, the rudimentary, no, it's not a debate. You know, you clearly are not knowledgeable enough. The rudimentary algebra needed to even uh, compile, to even that, compile of this algebra. is come from Islam. Uh, it comes from India. Uh, yeah. What are you talking about? No. But uh, the, all these... Algebra, algebra, oh, algebra is from, it's a Muslim, it's a Muslim. No, 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 no. But, okay, but that, that, that's clearly... You are you are enjoying you are enjoying the the inventions of a Muslim, and yet you are here to burn stuff. Is it? Yes. Yet your man's is recording things all that all had to deal with our our progression. This world was in the dark ages before Islam. The Western civilization. True or false? The, the True or false that this wasn't in the Dark Ages and the Muslims are the ones who brought the Enlightenment and Renaissance? Tell me, say that's false. Say and make yourself look a fool and say that's false. And that's false, and I'll tell you why. How so? Uh, how so? Uh, because, the, the yeah, reason, the because you said so. The reason we had dark ages in Europe is because the, the Muslim pirates were blocking the, um, uh, the Mediterranean and stopping all trade. Larry, 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 what are you going on about, man? You're here literally trying to rewrite your own history right now. And, and one, uh, one, one other important uh, topic on this. Um, tell us, please, we're all waiting. What we're calling the, the Islamic golden age. Go on. Uh, is, um, Islam had a golden age when the Muslims invaded and plundered gold in India and, and Europe. Spain. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Now, cool, because what did the Christians do with the Crusades? Why won't you mention that? We'll come to that later. We'll oh, oh, that's going to come later. 
because it's a it's a consequence of the uh, of the, of the first. So oh, the first. Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that Islam was the reason the Crusades took place? But now you're jumping on top of here. No, because you're you're yes, once again. Yeah. No, once again, you're 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 looking I'll, I'll like you're looking about, ridiculous I'll right now, you. and it's I'll being exposed in 4K right you, now. You, you won't uh, allow me to um, to explain because, because you're saying like a whole bunch of things that aren't even true. You're, it's not about jumping from topic to topic, Lars. You you really don't make any sense. You're deluded in your mind to what the truth is, yet factually you're wrong you want to go back to the time where there was zero percent Muslims and that's what you like the most that's what that's what you love you just love the fact that this was a white place what are you talking nothing to do what are you talking about it was safe because um, uh, Muslims are in uh, extremely overrepresented as Killer zombies and sexual predators. Killer zombies. Yes. That's an interesting one, ladies and gentlemen. We heard it here first right now. A killer zombie, all right? Tell us what's a killer zombie. A killer zombie is someone who kills without using the brain, just submitting, and uh -huh. obeying. Got you. Yep. Got you. So uh, uh, would you consider me a killer zombie? I don't know today. Maybe you don't tomorrow. know. I, I, but if I I'm a Muslim, but hold on. You see, that's the problem right there, right? You've made a claim that Muslims are killer zombies. You know I'm a Muslim. Yet when I asked you, am I a killer zombie? You said, I don't know you yet. Clearly, you don't know not only Muslims are doctrine, you don't even know actually represent and spend time with the Muslim to understand what Muslims truly feel and believe. Because if that wasn't a doctrine, you would have been extinct a long time ago. No, no, no. That's a dualism. The, That's the, the dualism right there. The, the, oh, so it's the, dualism it's, when you want it to be. Okay. No, no. Uh, it's when Islam wants it to be. The, the, really? It's it's quite clear. Um, this uh, step by step. Um, uh, if it's so clear, then why are you finding it so difficult to explain to us? You just mentioned the fact that we were killer zombies. That's what Islam teaches. That's what Muslims are. I asked you if I'm a killer zombie. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that Muslims, as per se. All of them today are killer zombies, but I okay. I'm saying that Islam commands them to be killer zombies. Does it? Yes. So, 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 if I follow this faith, which I clearly do, why haven't I encountered that verse that calls me to be a killer zombie? Because it's not the time yet. It's not the time yet. So it's going to be in activation mode soon. I don't know when. You don't know. I don't. I but don't, you're, we're going to get activated. As we know, uh, the Quran says, when you're ten percent, you are strong enough to uh, to overthrow them and take uh, seize power. Okay, so we're trying to overthrow you and seize power. So what's the end goal? End goal? Is yeah, what's our end goal according to you? Not according to me, according to Allah. Okay, what's that end goal? That Islam should uh, conquer the whole planet and rule over all people. The goal is not to make all people Muslims. The goal is to, to dominate uh, the whole planet. Okay, so if I were to say that Jewish people today control a lot of the economy, Jewish people are controlling a lot of the media, right? What would you have to say about that? If, because that's what they're doing. They're dominating right now. So is that not in their doctrine as well too? Tell me more about that. I don't know uh, whether uh, it, it's new to me that the Jewish doctrines, as a, the Old Testament, uh, tells them to dominate uh, Hollywood or uh, banking industry. Okay, so but they're controlling everything that you're. The most of the media and the banking industry is controlled by Jewish people. Okay, so my question to you is this: If you're talking about world domination, it's them. It's not even us. We're not in that. If you look at what's happening in the world, Muslims are the ones getting beaten up. Muslims are the ones who are being oppressed at the moment. So once again, you found that 10 percent so that you could bully and do whatever you want again. If you're looking at it, we are the ones who are in the worst of conditions at this very moment. So what are you going on about that we're trying to do world domination and all that sort of stuff? We have our own issues that we're trying to fix ourselves internally within ourselves. So what are you going on about? I'm going on about uh, the, the historical facts that uh, shows us that um, when Islam forces its way into a society. Force. Uh, yeah, force. 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 Yes. Like, like, like in Indonesia, Malaysia, when Islam came by business trade. Uh, Indonesia is a, is a very interesting um, um, case because Indonesia, that might be the only country. Was it? That might be the only country that has been Islamized by demographic warfare. Demographic warfare. Yeah. Notice how you're inventing these really cool words, right? Democratic warfare, trying to like scare the people over here. It was business trade that took place over there. They saw how the Muslims operate within their business and they love that fact. Uh, but what they probably didn't love that much is that the Muslims couldn't uh, couldn't let go that they had to commit uh, genocide there too. Even what genocide the Muslims commit in Indonesia. They killed at least half a million communists uh, 51 years ago. 
Okay, tell me, if it was up to you right now, how would you eliminate the Muslims? I'm not uh, out to eliminate Muslims. I'm out. I'm here to um, to um, prevent Islam for, from gaining political power. If if this is in our doctrine, and if according to you, right, if this is in our doctrine and this is prophesied to be true, then no matter what you do, Islam is going to pr uh, prevail. Don't you don't you think? If if this is in our doctrine and we believe that to be true, right, no matter what you do, Islam is going to be successful. So why are you so against something that's already prophesied by God to be successful? Not God, Allah. Okay, Allah, but you. But again, you keep. You're trying to hold on one second. You keep trying to say that Allah and God are two separate things. When I asked you what does Allah mean, you were unable to identify and explain. Oh, I want. Uh, I'm not unable to do that, but you are. That's because if you could, you would have. Uh, it's a distraction. You're it's not a distraction, you are, sir. It's pretty. It's pretty obvious right now. No, it's not turning. You have been. You've been exposed in 4K camera over here to expose the fact that you don't know what you're talking about. When asked a simple question, you going on about you know demographic war warfare and killer zombies but when asked a simple question about our creed about what does Allah mean when I asked you what does a kafir actually mean you were unable to identify this yet you say I know it I know it then tell us what you are trying to do is to oh goodness what am I there is no you debate for a debate to take place someone of sense and logic has to be there and I'm sorry to tell you you don't you don't meet those standards so I'm asking you if you knew so much you'd be able to tell me what does Allah even mean Allah means God, and that's semantic, and that that's not what Allah means. That has nothing. But that's not what Allah means. That has nothing to do. With but that's the, not what Allah the, means. Islam problem. The but once again, Islam you just problem. keep saying Islam problem like it's a fact because you said it is, and that's called white privilege. Just so we're clear. Yeah. yeah okay. You can call it uh, whatever. You call no, it. No, but that's a that's a fact because you're saying because you said it's true, therefore it's true. I'm asking you, what does Allah mean? You said Allah means God. Right? But then you said God and Allah are two separate things. So one, that's not even the true definition of Allah. So what does Allah mean? Do you need to be educated? Just say SQ, I, please I educate me. Care. And I got, ah, no. Now you said the truth. The truth is you don't care. You don't care to learn. You don't want to know. You just want to burn your Quran and cloud chase with your little bozo friends. You don't. Uh, <laughs> That's the truth. You're not very polite. But uh, so maybe tell me, what's polite? What's polite? I would rather. I would. I would rather deal with you the way you deserve to be. Time on one second. You look. I would rather speak to you the the way you deserve to be treated. Right? Not this dualism thing that you're accusing me of. I'm straight to you. How? I'm straight to you. You understand? It's not no dualism. If I'm feeling something towards you, you're gonna know my feelings. With you, if you talk about dualism, all of a sudden you couldn't answer my question. You're backpacking right now, and you're saying, "Oh, oh, you're not very polite." As if someone could just curse you out and say nasty things about you in a nice way, and that's okay. I'm talking to you the way you deserve to be spoken to. You're trying to bully the Muslims and you're exposing yourself to be an ignorant man. You won't get a very informative debate when you're not... This isn't a debate. And, and, you're tr and you're doing your best to prevent it from being a debate. There isn't a debate because someone of reason and, and, and sort of sound mind has to be here. You have your own ideas of Islam and that's what you're trying to portray. You have your own political agenda and that's the truth. I have a political agenda. Yes, you do. And so do Allah. And well, I don't want his agenda to be... Um, to, to Why? Because it doesn't fit with the white man's agenda? White? Yeah. Norwegian agenda, the Western agenda. Our ethics yeah. is better than Islamic ethics. Really? So, so therefore, we will not allow. Really? What ethics? Ethics. Like what? Like, like what's, what? What's good and bad? Okay, what's good and bad? So you're saying, where do you get your ethics from? Uh, the Western ethics is um, is uh, based on the Christian ethics. So and, your, and your ethics are based on Christian ethics. Uh, yes. And, so are you and against it's homosexuality? Been, and it's been. Um, um, Are you against homosexuality? For once, you should you should let me speak. Because if you're saying your ethics, uh, this where do you ethics get your ethics is, from? Um, uh, is uh, being um, through, through once you're through. done doing the bhangra, huh? what is your ethics? Where do you get your where do you get your ethics from? I'm explaining it, but you're, you're keep keep. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Enlightenment, Renaissance. Throughout the centuries, our ethics has formed into a set of values that is uh, superior to Islam's. No problem. So your ethics comes from the Renaissance and history. Yep. Okay. So your ethics come from a time, a time period. Okay, decided by society. Yeah, and and that's also with a true with the Jewish ethics because they they have transformed and uh, reformed over time. 
Islam has not. And, 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 um, Islam doesn't need to because it's perfected. Uh -huh. It is because our doctrine hasn't changed. Our book hasn't changed. It hasn't been altered. It's been preserved through time. It doesn't need to. It evolves with the time while staying the same. While other people need to change their doctrine because it's been translated and changed. Do you understand? That's the reason. Yes. So, but, but your ethics don't answer the question of what's right and wrong. So are, are your ethics okay with like incestual marriage and stuff like Are you okay with that? That's political. Uh, That's not a political question. If I'm asking you, are you okay with a brother and sister being together? That's an ethics okay. question. Yes. No, no, of course not. Why not? Because it's uh, incest is, uh, it's, uh, it's bad for, uh, it's immoral, but, but it says who? Our ethics. Where did wait wait wait? Who says that? The, um, in in um, in Norway we have laws against that. So one second, one second, one second. Related to the to the, the fact that uh, you will. Your ethics came from. Sorry about that. Your ethics your ethics are coming from society, right? In society, once upon a time, later on in the future, perhaps if incest is normalized, then you're according to your ethics, that will be okay. No, of course it will. Because if your ethics come from society and, and ages and renaissance, right, one day in 55 years or 100 years when incest is totally okay, the future version of you would be totally fine with that because your ethics ch change with what society believes is to be true or false. Yeah, because if you said it was Christian, you see the point, if you said it was Christian values, then one, not only does that not support the Christian values, burning someone's holy book is not Christian value as well. So your ethics is not okay. Your ethics also deals with noosing black people then because your ethics your ethics according to society would lynch people of different colors so I can see where you get those ethics from our ethics is um, from uh, Christ his behavior so uh, what's 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 Christ like behavior of burning someone else's holy book tell me he, this is your shot man he, he didn't say anything about that but um, the, about the, about the, do, uh, burning the, someone's book the major point here is that um, um, Islam's ethic is the quite opposite of ours. And we See, well, you keep going back to that. You yeah, keep going the, back to that. The, you keep going back to that. Two things there, or, or rather three. Um, Make up your yeah. mind. Um, you, Islam is based on Muhammad's behavior, and that's bad. And um, Islam okay. has no golden rule, and that's bad. And Islam, according to you. And is, uh, yeah. According to, yeah. according to and, you and your ethics that yeah. change with time. And, and um, your morals and values change. Islam's uh, ethics are based upon Allah's will, and that's bad. Uh, and if, it's bad because you say so. Yep. And if you, ah, ding, 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 ding. It's bad. Don't point your finger at me if you don't want it back in your face. You got to chill, okay? So you got to remember something. It, it's bad because you say no, so. Because my ethics say so. Your um, ethics say so, which are based upon society. Yeah. It's not based upon Christ because Christ does not support the burning of Qurans. So do you say? I didn't hear him say that. So wait, so you're saying Christ does support burning Qurans? Christians yeah. support burning Qurans? Burning Qurans or uh, more... Uh, more important, the Muslims' reactions to burning the Quran. Ah, yes. so that's yes. what you want, huh? Cloud chasing. You just want please, to do something to please check stop people's. Interrupting. Listen, don't raise your voice with me and think that's going to be okay. I'm not one of these dudes over here. You understand me? You, when you speak you to me, when you no 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 no, when you speak civilized. to me, huh? You, you I'm are, civilized, no, no, but no, it's according no, to you no. because I'm not you're letting you speak. Me. You, you're, you're not saying a whole bunch you, of things. You you're saying things according to yourself. And you always interrupt me before I can... But let's uh, get this straight. Don't raise your voice at me. Are we clear? Yeah, yeah we raise okay. voice all the time. Oh, but no, no, no. I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. No, because we're not equal because you're Muslim. No, we're, we're not equal because you're a hate preacher. Okay, fine, fine. And um, the ethics of Islam, they is based on uh, Allah's will. And if you look into Sharia, it says clearly that um, the ethics is um it's clear but you know yeah uh, reliance of the, tra of the traveler a14 uh, oh he just quoted something guys yeah. go ahead um but that means you're an expert because you quoted something go ahead it means that i've, I've read the, the no it does not reading and understanding are two different things large comprehension in, in, uh, comprehension is, is different from just no, uh, it's just by reading you don't, you, you, you don't uh, find your own definitions of sharia sharia is bang what does sharia mean Sharia says that uh, the, um, you, you are interrupting me again. I didn't even say nothing. I didn't even say nothing. What did I say? I just nodded my you head. Asked a question. You look like, come on. You asked a question. Uh, Sharia is based 
on the, the ethics of Sharia is based on Allah's will, not your heart and mind, because you are a human and you can be wrong. That's what. The, the Do you disagree with that statement that you're human and you can be wrong? Of course, people can be wrong. Okay. So, is there a possibility that you're wrong? In in many topics. Is there is there so wait wait so is there a possibility is there a possibility because you said it yourself. If you're, do if you're governing yourself with your mind and your heart, is there a possibility that you're wrong? Yes, everybody is wrong. And that's why ethics in Islam is purely based... You went back to Islam's ethics. If you're talking about... Your, because you see, the reason we're talking about equals or anything like that, your ethics are based upon history time. You can't even say Christianity because you're giving Christians a bad name. You're even giving Norwegians a bad name. You understand? This is your own... No, no, it's no, it's not about a political stance. It is not in the natural human disposition to be hateful towards other people. You understand? This is something that you're going towards. It's it's not it's not something that's common. We've spoken to the average Norwegian person. They're not about this. You're on some radicalized type of stuff, homie. It's not what the average Norwegian believes. And if you don't believe that, we could pull up someone right now, and someone would just look at you and be like, "Yo, that's not that's not even true." It looks like you you're having a problem with the Quran burning. And you, you, this is, this is. Uh, Listen, I don't have a problem with that at all. You know why? Because you've helped raise and build a thing that you don't even want to be done. You're, you're trying to like make sure that Islam gets eradicated. Yet you're building the largest Dawah center and masjid in the country of Norway. So it's like, it's like you're trying to eradicate Muslims. But when, a, when a mosque comes, more Muslims come to live here. How, how come you, you, you cannot argue without lying? You're lying. It. Go ahead. How? You keep uh, mentioning Muslims and Islam as it was... Uh, because a Muslim, in Islam, a Muslim is someone who follows Islam, yeah, the doctrines of Islam. Two different things. No, it's not. It's, it's, very, it's, pos it's possible to hate Islam, but don't, not hate people. That's it's possible to hate Islam and not hate people. Say that again so that you, know, you don't sound too ridiculous. Say that again. It's possible to hate any mindset, any political system, without hating people. Okay, no. so you don't hate Muslims? No. You just hate Islam? Well, Allah... Uh, means dualism, means dualism. You are afraid to say what's on your mind and heart. And you're talking about dualism of Muslims? You're afraid of getting cancelled. You know if you said something crazy and this goes online? Yeah, so you hate Islam? Nah. Uh, come on, say it. Now why should I say that? Be uh, because... Because if it's in your heart, notice your tongue you, is not going to say it. You, you Do you hate Islam? I don't hate anything. Okay. But there's good reasons to hate Islam. So the reason you hate Islam? No, I, did, I didn't. I, you I didn't just say said, that. No. He just feels but, that. No, the, the thing is that you don't know me. You don't know my heart and uh, mind. That's a good point you made. I don't know your heart and mind. And can I say I you don't know mine either? No. But, but uh, the, the, Can you say you don't know my needs? I don't know uh, you. Exactly. Yeah, and that's, that, that, so instead of we us were, getting to know each other and actually sitting down together and understanding my beliefs and my values, if you're saying Islam is so new to Norway, isn't it possible that because it's so new and you hate what you don't understand, that's possible that if you don't sit with people who are Muslims, you're not going to understand what true Islam is? Uh, the, the problem with your argument is that um, a Muslim does not define Islam. Uh, Islam defines Muslims. So who taught you about Islam? Allah and Muhammad. Tama, so, you're, so you went to the text directly? Yep. Okay, so if I were to give you a math text, right? Anytime you read a text in a school or whatever, you have something called a teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Who was your teacher? Because you don't read anything or study anything without a teacher. So who was your teacher? Ibn Ishaq, the Tafsir. So you've sat with these people. No, I read so you were just reading books according to your own understanding and now you're just making developments and because this is the point that I'm trying to make anytime you study something you need a teacher to help you guide and instruct you through that who was your teacher that you sat down with to understand Islam Islam is simple the Quran says Islam is simple and it's so simple that um, Islam, Islam is simple yeah where does it say that in the Quran I don't remember you don't remember but, but it's so simple you that you know it's simple you you know so you don't it remember because you know it's the Quran. so okay we talk about I know it's true okay I know it's true fine let's let's for argument say I know it's true so I'm asking you show me where it's true that you believe it's true you said that it's in the Quran so show me where why should I show you, you know why it? should I show you because you don't know where because it's, it's not a true fact we, that you're saying if we had had this discussion uh, via zoom or something I could look it up but I don't uh, there's no reason for me to go 
Because you have your beliefs, and there's no reason for you to know the Quran. Because you have your own, you already have your mindset set to what you believe, and you can't change someone who. And the goal is not to even change you. It's not even like that. Islam is so new in Norway, and that's why the Dawah needs to take place. So there's not more people like you. Because the more people like you that exist. It's more hatred in the world, dude. This is not what the world needs right now. And if you're really talking about it, your war and the war that's happening is against deism, against God. And Muslims, Christian Jews, the fact that we all believe in that one true God. Yeah, lie. no, that's, that's what lie. you think. The Quran, that's what you think. No, no, no. That's what, the same Quran that you weren't able to tell me that was simple. You see the what Quran I'm talking about? Says, I don't say it's simple. The Quran says Then show me where. Exactly. You know, That's it, my it, point. This is, this is Don't point your finger uh, at me. Watch out. Watch out. Don't point your finger at me. Come on now. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to say, homie. Right? You're, a liar you're saying. And you know you're okay. So so tell me. Prove me. I'm a liar. So Every, quote it. Everyone, quote everyone, it. Quote me. Go ahead. Everyone who looks at this can look it up in the Quran and find that I'm telling the oh, truth. Okay. There we go. So the we Quran, just we just want you to start googling in Wikipedia and stuff. Okay. Google. Yeah. Don't people have a Quran? They do. Yeah, fine. And that's then why we need we need a Dawa center. We need a Dawa center in Norway so the hate preachers such as yourself are eradicated. If anything, yeah, if anything so needed, eradicated. domestic. This is. I'm, it, not, I'm not talking about eradicating Muslims, but you want to er eradicate Norwegians. I, I really. Yeah. Muslims, How so? Muslims, you said by, edu by educating them yes. about uh, by educating them about, about the fastest growing religion in the world and why you shouldn't be afraid or hate something. That's how eradicating someone. You should have wanted to. Er How is that making someone less Norwegian? If someone has Norwegian values, culture from here, learning about Islam doesn't take away what you already have. If you uh, are a Norwegian and you convert to Islam, you become an ex-Norwegian. You become an ex, according to you? According to, uh, yes, according, according to, to you. Because according to you, you have to change your ethics, your, your way of life, you have to like, change everything. Like what? And, and because what do you have to change? The, the way you think. Well, you how, okay. You, you, have you have to, to stop think. thinking. Yeah. You, you have, have to. to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're talking about zombies and not thinking, it's kind of clear who's thinking and who's not thinking right now. It's it's, yeah. it's pretty obvious. You're saying you're saying right now that by becoming a Muslim, it's like you become an ex-Norwegian. Yeah. When that's according to you. It's according to the fact that uh, Norway and Islam has opposite ethics, and you cannot be a Norwegian if you don't have uh, Norwegian values. And if you what are Norwegian values? Go ahead, educate uh, us. Uh, and then uh, ours. Okay, what are those better values? Go ahead. What are they? Yeah, be eating glizzies. I see you guys just eating a bunch of glizzies the other day. Are those Norwegian values? Uh, say again. A glizzy. What? A glizzy. What's that? You don't know what a glizzy is. No. You love glizzies. I could tell. But look, what are Norwegian values and cultures? What is it? That's so better, right? According to you, like, what are these Norwegian values that you have to, uh, like, uh, leave? Go ahead. It's, it's uh, trust. Our society is based upon trust. Okay, what trust Trust in what? Trust, trust in your neighbor. Okay. But Islam is not. Islam is based upon intolerance and hate. Is it? Yes. So in Islam, when it teaches you about loving your neighbor, right? No, not your neighbor. Your Muslim brother. Oh, good, not you're going to have to quote that. You're gonna have to quote that because I'm telling you right now that Islam teaches us that to, to be kind to your neighbor, be good to your neighbor, you're saying that neighbor has to be a Muslim. Yeah. See the difference over here? If you're talking about hatred, right? You're the one who's trying to instill hatred into people's hearts and minds, and you're trying to misquote Islam to make people hate something. So if you're really talking about the distinguishing factors between us, it's you're the one who are really trying to put the hatred over here, not Muslims. And this is clear as day. Okay, fine. Now, you, uh, for half an hour, you've been um, insisting that Islam has a golden rule. Where in the Quran do you find this golden rule? But no, the fact that you say there is a golden rule is your beliefs and your values. I'm not saying there's a golden rule of Islam. You're the one claiming this. I'm claiming that all... You're claiming that all religion has a golden rule. Are you, so, are you some theologist? Tell me where did you that study that? What scholar, what scholar, what scholar has told you about this golden rule you can, system? You can just by studying uh, religion in... Uh, you haven't school. studied religion. In school. You have it. You have it. I can tell. Because, because you see, when asked about this golden rule idea, you're not going to hear any, any scholar talk about the golden rule. And if there is a golden rule, you're saying every religion has it except Islam. Yeah, that's right. And According to you. Yeah. Yeah, but and, and um, 
And, and by the way, you learned about Islam by studying it yourself and not having a teacher. And we already agreed to the fact that human beings who operate off their mind and their heart can be wrong. Yeah. And you are trying to desperately to, to avoid the fact because you know that... I'm not I'm desperate. Afraid. You are not quoting the golden rule of Islam because there... What is, is the golden rule of Islam? There is no. So what's the golden rule of Christianity? Do to your, to your neighbor as you want him to do to you. To you. What's the golden rule of uh, Judaism? It's the same. And uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, it's the same. Sri Dawa, you know what it is. This clown, it's, it's like banging your head on a wall, bro, honestly. It's just like, you know, it doesn't even matter what you quote or what you don't quote. This dude is in his own delusion, and that's what the whole idea is going to be anyways. What tree are we going underneath there? He's coming back with an umbrella for Oh, so he has, some, he has some kindness in him, yeah? We're trying to show. Notice he said that he wouldn't hate Islam. He yeah. can't say it. Yeah? He's not going to say that, is he? He's not going to say it, but you hear it in his heart. You hear it, but he's not going to physically say that. And he's accusing us of dualism. What, what do you think of so far what's taking place? Bro? It's, it's very good, Mashallah Tabarakal. You have really, really exposed him and shown what kind of ignorant fool he is. And, and he doesn't know anything. He doesn't, he doesn't have an answer to any question whatsoever. Alhamdulillah. Uh, this event here will just be a, a reminder for the whole world that these kinds of hate preachers, they don't have nothing. They, nothing. They, there's no substance nothing. in what they're saying. Well, like, and you know what, bro? This is, okay, he's trying to be like the main, he's trying to act like he's the main Norwegian guy. And this is why we need a Dawa center and much in the country of Norway. So that there are more, more hate preachers such as him being produced, right? We have to educate people about Islam. Islam is so new over here that he's educating himself about it. And he already agreed to the fact that his heart and his mind that he governs himself of could be wrong. So it's, it's proven fact that he could be wrong about his understanding about Islam. SubhanAllah. Look, I, I gotta say, the manners, the manners, the manners are great. You got some great manners, you know. And when I spent, when when I heard you guys speak over the phone, like this dude sounds like a really like solid dude. Oh, this dude sounds like a really solid character. You get what I'm saying? There you go. Now you see, in Islam, I received the reward for helping you with that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, right? In Islam, I received the reward for helping you with that. Yeah? But you're not a Muslim, but yet I received the reward for helping you in that. What was my, why, why did I do that? Because I know there's a reward for me in helping humanity. If there was some rubbish on the floor and I picked that up and I cleared it so that everyone could benefit from that, that's because Islam has taught me that, that I will get a reward for that. It doesn't matter if the person is a Muslim, an atheist, a Jew or a Christian or Buddhist. If they are benefiting from that clear road because I helped them out with that, there is a reward for for me and that. You see? Where's the dual? There, there, there's another, the, the dualist miss, the reward you get from killing. Take a look at uh, chapter 9, verse 1. one oh, go ahead. One. Go ahead. Uh, Allah buys your property and your life, and the, in, in exchange, you have to kill and be killed for Allah's cause. So, so be, and kill the, and be and killed. The, and the reward you get is a straight ticket to paradise. You don't have to, to lie in the grave until uh, doomsday. Okay. And uh, you, you take uh, is it 70 family members or something with you, okay. a bunch of family. Okay. So, 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 so let's suppose, let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you kilos. something. Uh, time one second, right? So if there was a war taking place, right? And I got to battle someone. And if I died in that battle, you're telling me that there's a reward from God? Okay, that sounds wonderful. If I have to battle someone and I have to fight someone, I know that whether whatever happens to me in that, I will be rewarded for that. But notice, a fight has to take place between two people. I'm not just picking on people, burning people's books, and starting a fight with people. There's a difference over here. Let's talk about who starts this fight. If you take a look at uh, Ibn Ishaq, the second oath at uh, Aqaba, I'm not sure if I can spell that correctly, but uh, you know. Um, it's not about your spelling that has a mistake, it's your understanding with the mistake, so continue on. Well, uh, both uh, Al Tabari and Ibn Ishaq. Is clear about what the Muslim, what what it uh, implies, what the Muslim did. It was to um, to take part in a war against humanity. A war in humanity. Yeah. So that so so you're talking about a war in humanity. When I just told you about the fact that if I were to pick something and clear it from the road, I would get the reward for everyone who benefits from that road. So there's a war against humanity. Yet at the same time, I'm being instructed to help humanity. 
it's not helping humanity uh, by picking up some... Uh, so wait, tell me, you're, you're tell, tell one second. If I'm cleaning litter from the floor and I am putting it in the waste basket and recycling, you're telling me that's not helping humanity? Well, it, it might be, but the, the prob problem... It with either is or isn't, it's not a might. Okay, let's say humanity gets happy when you pick up a branch from the... They don't get happy, they benefit from it. Okay, fine. But that doesn't... Uh, uh, they benefit from that, it and I get a reward from it. Fine, that's good. So I have an incentive to do good. Yeah. Show me what's your incentive to do good. To save the planet, save my country from... By burning Qurans. From political Islam. By burning Qurans. Because that's your thing. I mean, this is what I'm saying, right? Like, it's getting kind of old. Yes. Like, what's your, I, I want to know what's like, what else do you have in your bag? Like, what else are you going to do? Because the whole Quran burning thing is getting quite old. So, like, what, what else do you plan on doing? Because it, it seems kind of like, you know, you need some new content. Okay, fine. Uh, do you have any good ideas? Me? No, uh, personally, no. Uh, because I don't preach hate. Uh, so I don't believe in hurting someone else's religion or their beliefs or their values. You understand? Uh, the, the, so I don't have any value, or any any type of uh, thoughts about that. Because my religion doesn't teach me to do that. No. But your ethics do. My, uh, no, your uh, ethics do. No, my, because you're, eth you're acting according to your ethics. And I'm acting according to my ethics. My ethics are teaching me to clear the road and help humanity. Your ethics are teaching you to burn a Quran. Let's see who's in the right and wrong. Ethics is not about picking up branches, it is to follow the commandments of Allah. And Allah has commanded me, Allah has commanded me to make sure that I am helping humanity and I'm being an asset to society. You're talking about the hadith. Allah has commanded you to, to fight the infidels until uh, his religion is um, uh, reigning in the whole world. And, and you okay. know that, you know that. And okay, okay. To me, to me, it's a little more important whether we get invaded and occupied than uh, whether it's uh, some uh, litter on the, on the pavement. Okay. So you believe that uh, Muslims being here, Islam being here, is an invasion and occupation? I don't believe it. Allah says it, and the history. No, is it an invasion or is it not? Your country or Norway, you're being invaded by by Islam. We are invaded at the moment. Yes. By Islam. Yeah. Yeah. So you're acting like Islam is some alien. Well, it's you're being invaded by some UFO alien that's going to take you up and beam you up. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, you they're, are. They're just going to chop our head head off. So you're saying that that Islam teaches people to chop their heads off. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? So, so this this is what is being taught right now. When when in the Quran, in the Quran, you're saying in the Quran is teaching about people to chop their heads off. Yes, and you said right now. I said, no, 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 but, but where where in the Quran is it talking about chopping people's head off? Uh, yeah, the, the Quran. I, I must have skipped that chapter. Can you refresh my memory a bit? Where is it talking about chopping people's head off? I don't know. It's at, at least three verses. As as you think about that, right? As you think about that, the Prophet Muhammad saw some explained clearly that even within a war and you are fighting someone and if the person gets killed in the war, you're not to mutilate the body. So you're talking about chopping someone's head off in this process. Just like the Prophet did on the, um, in Medina when he killed uh, this uh, Jewish what, uh, tribe. Who? Muhammad. Okay, and he killed what Jewish tribe? The last tribe after he... Um, he um, uh, Tell us more. Give us the history lesson right now. Go ahead. No, we um, we're, um, we had some other important topic here, uh, which you interrupted. Uh, I, c I could talk about Medina. Ah, uh, that, that's very that's very convenient of you, huh? When when you know when asked about, tell us the history lesson of that, and it's very interesting, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting, right? When you want to quote and mention the history of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be peace and blessed be upon him, you do so, right? But when we're talking about the Hadith, you deny that. You say no, 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 no. So it's just like so it's just like no, 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 no. Well, the Quran is something else. The Hadith is something else, right? But when you want to mention and make your points about something, you bring in the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessed be upon him, when you want to. But when something is in the favor of the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, you say, no, 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 well, that's the Hadith, right? So if you're talking about, once again, dualism, you're afraid to even mention and say that you don't like Islam. May I answer? Go ahead. Thank you. The dualism... You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Uh, the dualism is the concept that allows Muslim to adjust their behavior uh, based upon how strong Islam in, is in this area at the time. Okay. Yeah. So how have we adjusted our behavior? Based on we're only 10% in Norway, how have we adjusted our behavior? You only have uh, you don't uh, you don't rape too many of our children or uh, uh, females and children. You too many. We don't we don't do too many. So we're doing too less right now. Less than you will at twenty percent. So uh, so right now, are you saying that the rape cases that are being held right now in Norway are done by Muslims? 
not all, but uh, almost everyone. Almost everyone. Yes. Almost yes. everyone. If you look at the so you're saying in Norway right now. Listen, you're making a really big claim about the the yeah. the consensus of your country right now, yeah. right? You're this, this, you're, is, this is facts. Uh, the wait, police say it's right. the, yeah. the police are yeah. saying the fact that the most rapes that happen in your country are by Muslims. Yes. Wow. And they've, they've said this for years. So it, really? Yeah. And wow. You, and you have the, the same statistics in uh, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, oh, wow. France. It's, you know this. It's, Britain. Hide your kids. At, Hide your kids, because that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Look at the Britain, the grooming cases. Okay. What about the, 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 the Muslims uh, from uh, Bangladesh and Pakistan, they are 170 times more likely to be a sexual predator than... You just made Muslim. up an entire statistic by saying a few, few numbers together when you probably don't even understand what you're actually even talking about. You're trying to make it seem... No, no, no. You're trying to make it seem... You're trying to make it seem like Muslims are some grooming gang members and that's what's taking place across the world because in your corrupt mind, this is what's going on. I don't say grooming is taking place in the in the whole of Western Europe as it is in Britain because Britain is special but rapes Muslim sexual you persons, said you said yeah. Muslims and Islam are two separate things yes. right so a person what a Muslim does has no reflection of Islam unless ah uh, 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 when did Islam tell him to do the raping you, you're so knowledgeable about the Quran, Sheikh. Tell us, Sheikh. T uh, Sheikh Lars, where in the Quran does it say to rape the women? Go ahead. Right tell me where it is. Those, those your right hand possess, you know. So tell me where the raping is allowed to take place. Go ahead. You see, a second ago, as you can rewind this on the 4K camera, you guys see what's going on right now. Uh, once upon a time, he's saying the Muslims and Islam are two separate things. Yet, yet, when it came down to it and accusing the Muslims of rape and all this sort of garbage, right? You want to say Islam and Muslims are together. No, I say Muslims. So what the Muslims do over there, the Muslims do over there has nothing to do with Islam. When a Muslim rapes because Islam tells him it's okay to do so, it has to do with there Islam. There we go. And that's the point. No, no, it has to do with Islam when you believe it suits your agenda. If a Muslim is doing something that's incorrect, that has nothing to do with the faith. It has nothing to do. It is with their own weaknesses. That's like a Muslim who is doing something that God has said not to do. So let's suppose a Muslim is drinking alcohol. That has nothing. That's not a reflection of the faith. That's a reflection of the weakness of their iman. And that's something within themselves, right? That's not a reflection of the religion. So it's okay for you to distinguish the difference between a Muslim and a Islam when it suits you. But when something negative is happening, oh, Muslim and Islam coincide. May I respond? Yes. Uh, the, the Quran says that uh, Muhammad is the perfect example. Uh, and um, he was a predator. He uh, infidel uh, females. He, he raped them. Yeah. Okay. He also um, Aisha, you know that. Gotcha. He's a, he's a okay. So, uh, pedophile and any non Muslim is good because it, Muhammad did it. So, that, okay. is, that is why in uh, Islamic uh, ethics, it's fine to write. So, so let me ask you a question, right? So, so you're, so look, you're able to say these really nasty things and harsh things, right, about the Quran. You're able to burn them. You're able to say this about Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, right? And um, you're saying, and this is all protected under uh, your freedom of speech. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, so if I were to talk about your mom right now, you're good with that? Yeah, you're good with that. So you're me telling about your mom. Muslim. No, no, tell me that. So if I were to talk about your mom, right, and how she's kind of, a that's okay. Well, she is. If it, yeah, if it makes she you, is. yeah, I know. No, no, but I you're, you're, you're saying your mom. I heard this all the time. You, but, but wait, you're okay with your mom being a. She's not. But, but wait, wait, tell me, why is she not? I don't mind. You don't mind. You don't mind talking about no, no, not Muslim. No, 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 no. Under, under my, under, under, no, under freedom of speech. No, you're primitive for you're primitive because you are insulting. You see, that's where you're running away. Once again, you're running away. You are attacking my mother. Ah, so when you want it to be, it's attacking. When you want it to be attacking, but this is my freedom of speech. Yeah, that's fine. So it's fine. So your mom's, you're okay with that. So you have no, you have no jealousy, no pride of the fact that you're going to defend your mom? What kind of son are you? 
Huh? What kind of son are you? You're not going to defend your mom? You are a pathetic little liar. But really? Yeah. So, so, okay, so, 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 one second. So when it's my freedom of speech to say that about your mom because it hurts you, because it's someone close and loved to you, that, I'm a pathetic liar. But you're okay with knowing that the, the Muslims love and care about their religion so much, and you're okay with harming them, and you don't come off like a pathetic liar yourself? Is it a lie? That's my point. Hey. That's my answer. point. Let's hey, answer. don't say hey to me. Yeah, I'm I not will. the one. I will. I'm not the one. I will. I'm not the one. I will say hey because you're. The I'm not the one. Talking you don't want that. You, you don't want, want it with me. You, you don't want, want the smoke me. with me. I'm not one of these people. You, you feel me? I'm not one of these people. I'm a little different. I'm I built different. You understand? You have this, uh, beard. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. It's sexy. It's not yeah. like you. Where's your Jesus beard? Ah, uh, that's the point. The problem, you just mad because I look good. You just mad because I look good. All right, it's not my fault. I'm sexy. You don't have arguments. You have to behave. No, no, no. It's not about. It's not about arguments. You have no argument because when it came down to your mom and you loved her and cared about her, you didn't want us to talk about her, right? The point is this: we would never talk about your mom. The point is this: when you love and care about someone, it would be wrong for me, even under freedom of speech, to say something that hurts you. And that's the ignorance of that. It's freedom of speech when you want to do it, but when I want to do it, it's pathetic and you're a liar. Well, it's not a lie. If your mom is. You have been lying since we started. Has I? Yeah. Show me some lies. Rewind the tape. You, you can rewind the tape. I claim there is no golden rule. You claim there is, but you you're going back to that you entire can, thing you that you made up. Yeah. You've made up this entire dogma that a religion has to have within yourself. No, it doesn't have. It, it no, no, you're making up a dogma that a religion has to have this. No, it doesn't. Because it doesn't need to. No, it doesn't need. But there we go. But, there we go. There we go. So whether Islam has a golden rule or not, it doesn't matter because you just said you don't need it. It's uh, it's it doesn't matter much because Islam without a golden rule. You've made your point. Evil. You made your point. Evil. You made your point. You, made your point. you said that you don't need you don't need a golden rule, yeah. but yet you because said you Islam doesn't have, have one. So then there's a problem. The problem is the problem is that you made up the word golden rule like it's a real thing. Rule. But it's not a real thing. Proves that it's crap. You've proven nothing by saying the word prove doesn't mean you have proved something. You see what I'm talking about? The fact that you are, are admitting that Islam has no golden rule proves that Islam is No, no, you're admitting the fact that you don't need a golden rule in a religion. You're making up your own ideas that a religion needs to have a golden rule to be considered a correct religion. No, You've no, made that no, up. No, 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 yes you have. Yes no, you have. No, I just stated yes, the fact. Have. No, I stated the fact that all other world religions has a golden rule. According to you. Yeah. And but no, no scholar is saying, no, that's a fact because you said it's a fact. Okay, leave that aside. Let's say that's my, my opinion only. But... Um, and that's enough for it to be wrong. You already agree that people who govern with their mind and their heart, like you said you do, can you be wrong. Are, are your audience uh, illiterate and uh, 70 IQ people? Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, that's because definitely not. The they're, they're, the seeing the fact, they're seeing the fact. They're seeing the fact that you're you ridiculous. Are, are you? it's, uh, it's, so, it's so low. Is it? Yeah. Yet you haven't been able to disprove anything that I've said. I've, I, I repeatedly proved that you don't have a uh, golden rule and that but once again you're making up a word you're making up an idea that needs to take place my idea of course it is it's universal is it yeah. so what scholars supporting the fact that uh, that religions need to have the golden rule all of them except you all of them except you there we, why because ladies and gentlemen Lars over here said so Google Congratulations, Google go ahead. The Google, also oh, now our information needs to come from Google, right? Depends on who li delivers the information, but I'm quite sure. Ah, uh, it does depend, that. right? So who are your teachers? Who have you sat down with? What scholar okay. of even a Christian religion, right? Of someone, okay. even the Islamic religion, or an atheist scholar, who have you sat down with to learn about Islam? You've rule. learned about it on your own. Or do you think this golden rule is a good idea or not? It doesn't matter what your mind and heart govern. My mind and heart is not governed based upon what I believe to be true or correct. Well, it's based upon a set of values that's been given divinely. Yeah. You understand? And, and yours change with society. Yours and, change with society. And the golden rule is not one of those uh, uh, values in Islam. You're making Norwegians look bad. I just want you to say this. The golden rule Norwegians are great people. The Guys, I would want to say this. Norwegians are great people. And that's why this Dao is such a bunch that needs to take place. So that people like him don't even like yeah, it's not even about it's not even about like existing because you can't eradicate this type of behavior. You could only educate them and you could only combat this through education. You cannot eradicate truth and you and you're a liar. You're right. So you, you can eradicate yeah. truth. So and, and that's why I'm standing over here and how so? 
Uh, so let, let's be honest over here. You're a hate preacher who who gets clout and fame and popularity by burning a Quran. You're burning. You are getting fame off of my religion. You're getting fame and popularity off of my religion. Yeah. On your own, you can't do nothing. And according to on your own, you can't do nothing. And, and according to Fahad, you're earning a lot of money. How so? How, so? You should, you should how, how much am I earning? Have, have no idea. Uh, then you don't know yet. I'm earning a ton load of money, yeah. but he doesn't know. He doesn't know, yet I'm earning a ton load of money. This is the logic. This is who you guys follow? This what? is him? This is your leader? You need a new leader. You need a new leader, guys. This guy is a joker. This dude is a straight up joker. Fahad said that? He's telling me, he's telling you, Fahad, get him for a second. Are you telling him for a second at all that I'm earning some money over here and I'm earning a ton load of money? No, bro. No, but you know what you are doing? You're helping us, babe. You're, you're, you're earning. Muslims. Him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. By the way, thank you. Thank me. I am, I am. Thank you so much. Guys, we have the number one CEO right over here who's helping build this dollar center right now for us. The more you hate, the more they donate. So just give, give us some more. Yeah, I will. And uh, what I will. Uh, ching, ching, keep going. That, uh, uh, just a moment. I have to turn on the other oh, side. Sorry. Because I, I don't uh, on the hair on one. Okay. Um, we have this repeating subjects of Quran burning. Uh, what, what you uh, come back to all the time is the, the emotions of the Muslims. When you False. Say, okay, so you, you say you, 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 you're fine with it? Yeah. You, it looks like you, you, your emotion is a little up, uh, false. Okay, so it's fine, but you, you, didn't you just say that uh, Muslims are uh, hurt by Quran burning? You see, Muslims or any human being is hurt by something that's near and dear to them, Lars. Yeah, you're fine. Well, fair. Yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah. So if the Quran, yeah. if you know, if you know it hurts them, you doing it on purpose just shows your character. And by you're doing that, yeah, you can get mad, but we would rather propel that energy and cause people to unite together and build this mosque in Dawa Center so we can eradicate the hate preachers such as yourself by educating them. Fine, that's fine. And I'll... Uh, that is fine, and that's exactly what you're helping us do. Yeah, because uh, most Muslims are uh, killer zombies. There we go. And, and and there we go. Come on. Yeah. They behave like violent apes. Beautiful. They, Beautiful. They go ahead. Us, Keep on. Uh, I just saw a thousand pounds just get donated just from that comment right now. I appreciate y'all right now. You already know. Twice they have tried to kill me. Have they? I, I, I can't imagine why anyone would want to harm you when you are filled with so much hate and harmful towards someone's beliefs and value. I don't see anyone. A second ago, when I was hypothetically talking about your mom, you got so butthurt that you wanted to be, oh, you're a pathetic little liar, but you're hurting someone's entire creed and you're surprised by someone. I can't imagine why someone would dislike you. You have such a level of personality. And by the way, I just want to make this clear. Off camera, when he's not clout chasing, off camera, when he's not popularity hunting, he's actually a pretty fine gentleman. Very nice, very respectful, tried to get us an umbrella, and was actually very kind to us. Alhamdulillah, like, he actually showed the values. But the moment the cameras start running, he becomes a different person because it's a popularity contest and he's clout chasing over here. Off camera, off camera, you're not that guy. Off camera, you're a better person than you make yourself to be. And you know what? If you're talking about dualism, it's you because the hatred that you have towards Islam is very clear. But when asked to say you hate Islam, no comment. That, my friends, is cowardice. That is a pathetic thing, and that makes you a liar. Yeah, the problem is you What's my problem? You don't accept. My problem's that you. sexy? Yes, that is my problem. Uh, I look too good, mashallah, barakallah. Try to behave. Uh, hey, don't I, I'm behaving how I want to behave. I, I work off my own ethics, right? Yeah. I work on my own ethics. Allah told me I can behave this way, yeah, right? Yeah. I can, I, I can. I can look gorgeous That's because this is how Allah's made me. Like you to, I don't want to, I, hey, whatever you're you using for your formula. In Norway. Yeah, what, what politics? Uh, but the, 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 the thing I was talking about, Quran burning, um, the, the whole problem here is that you oppose Quran burning because of feelings. But, no, but feelings, I oppose, let me tell you something. If you were burning a Bible, if you were burning a Bible, I would feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. and still it's feelings. Time out. If you're, it's not just feelings, it's ethically wrong. It's ethically wrong. You don't think it's ethically wrong to burn a Bible? I've been trying to. Is it ethically wrong to burn a Bible? To, to give you this argument for half an hour. There, is it ethically are, wrong to burn a Bible? permanently disrupting me. Is it ethical to burn a Bible, yes or no? That's ethical, yes. It's ethical to burn a Bible. 
and I would be mad for that too. If you said you were going to burn a Bible, I would be upset with you. It's not my faith, but I would be upset. And no right-minded thinking person would be okay with you burning. Anyone cool with burning Bibles? The answer is no. The Western civilization and Islam? The answer is no. Anyone cool with burning Bibles? No. No one. No one wants to burn a Bible. Because that's hate. That's a, You're a hate preacher. It's you, if, yeah, you, you're if you are hurting a Bible. You are coming here with these emotions again. Emo it's not emotions. emotions it's ethics. Not, it's ethics. Yeah, and that's it's emotions. It's ethics. It's not an argument in a political debate. Emotions yes, it is. Are, no, it's not. Ethics. And my ethics teach me that I am not to destroy another person's house of worship. That's what my ethics teach me. The Quran teaches me that if if there is someone's house of worship, I am not. Aha! Uh -huh, and the Quran teaches me not to destroy or burn someone's uh, house of worship. If it was up to you, you'd be burning mosques down, wouldn't you? No. If you could, you would. No. You're lying. Okay, fine. You, uh, you know you would. Because that would be the what's next step. What else? What's the point of having a discussion when you have all the answers? Uh, Look, is it ethical to burn anyone's religious book? Ethical? Uh, according to Western ethics, yes. It's okay to burn someone's uh, some someone's religious or book. A pride flag or an American flag or what else? Whatever. So it's okay to burn because flags and everything like that. Okay. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to show Islam, values over here. Islam okay. Has no, um, uh, has an opposite um, uh, ethic. That's pure evil. Uh, pure evil, no. pure evil. Based you just said important. that it's okay for you to based. burn someone's holy book, based. and Islam, Islam does not promote that. Yet you're calling Islam pure evil. Yet you're here that promoting because, pure evil. That is because Islam is far more than a question about burning books. It's more superior because of the fact that it doesn't teach you to burn someone's book. Yet when you govern, my, my brothers, beloved brothers and sisters, people, of humanity watching, when you govern with this mind and heart, and the mind and heart is corrupt, it will tell you that it's okay to burn someone's holy book when it's not okay to burn anyone's holy book you understand no. and my values and ethics teach me that and that is not feelings that is fact opposite your ethics and you cannot compete with Western ethics because no Western ethics is to burn a book there is no Western ethics that tell you to burn someone's holy books has built there is no listen listen Lars listen Lars you're making a fool out of yourself there is no ethical way to justify burning anyone's holy book it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ask anyone. Anyone. Is it ethical to burn anyone's holy book? Only built. You're talking a whole bunch of rubbish. Islam is only tearing down. That's it. Really? That's Yet you're the one promoting uh, burning someone's holy books. You're doing that, not Islam. You are you nagging about holy books because you know that Islam is an evil and false religion. That teaches you to preserve people's religion. Cannot. No, right? No, so so no. tell me in my book where it tells me to burn and destroy someone's temple while you're okay with your ethics to burn someone's book. Go ahead. Well, should we look at all Go the, ahead. Should we look at all the mosques? Go ahead and tell me where where is it okay to be ethical to burn someone's holy book? Go ahead. In, uh, and you Africa, said also, Okay, wait, wait. In, uh, but Muslims and Islam are separate, remember? According to you, Muslims and Islam are separate according to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is like banging your head on a wall with this dude. It is literally the same thing. It doesn't matter what you tell this man. His own arguments that he has pitfalls in and holes in, when it goes against him, no problem. So when he wants to say negative things, Muslims represent Islam. But when the positive things, oh no, 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 Muslims in Islam, there are positive. There's nothing positive about Islam. No, absolutely no positive about Islam. Mm, beautiful. Absolutely no positive about Muslims. Such a positive person. In the in the west there is zero positive this is it only negative thing really yes yes, yes. okay cool and because because Lars says so ladies and gentlemen because he said so that's why it's true guys look look we could we could be here all day we could be here all day but i just want to let you know man yeah. seriously seriously like this this way of waking up every single day and hating someone for what they are and they're different from you this is going to leave you towards depression and and toughness to be a good muslim you have to hate the coffee you know that Oh, does it? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? So, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have the person over here, uh, Sheikh Lars over here, who's going to tell us how we have to practice our religion when to, clearly he doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah. And so, um, the copy the um, actions of Muhammad, behavior of Muhammad. I am. I, yeah. I do exactly you, that. You that? Yeah. I do. Lars, 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 I think one thing that you've proven to everyone 
is how ridiculous you are and how hate-filled you are. And I think more than anything, man, you need to cleanse your heart because this is a value that you have within yourself that's extremely disgusting. You should not be treating anyone's book. Forget Islam for a second. Forget Islam for a second. Anyone's beliefs and values, you should not be destroying it and harming them that way. Especially the fact that you know it harms and it hurts them. That's wrong. I don't care that's about wrong. Uh -huh. care and about it's ethically Islam wrong is too. A political when, system yeah. that we have to uh, prevent from gaining power in our country. The yeah. whole thing is about stopping Islam from invading and occupying. Mm. And the fact that some Muslims get their hurt, feelings hurt by us doing so, that's irrelevant because feelings are not an argument. Got you. Yeah. Okay, very feelings. Very, yeah. So feelings so ethics, okay. Yeah. It's about ethics. And your ethics teach you to burn someone's holy book. My ethics uh, teach you to burn someone's holy book. To protect, burn someone's holy book. Our ethics don't teach you that. Your ethics do. Western, civilized ethics. Your ethics. So civilized ethics teach you to burn someone's holy book. It not Civilized Western ethics teach you to burn someone's book. Only Lars is your focus on You're the making Quran someone indicates. Don't do that. Yeah, I, I'll do whatever I like. Really? And if you act like a violent ape, that should. I'm acting like a violent ape. You're, you're the one. You act. Like and a don't ape. put your hand in my face. You feel me? Don't do that. Look at yourself. Yeah, I am you looking at myself. In a civilized, uh, civilized I do. No. I do. I'm fully civilized. You're the one here burning yeah. Qurans, saying that it's okay to burn people's be flags. Right. It's okay to burn people's like uh, holy books and stuff like that. And you call yourself that's Western ethics, and you're civilized by hurting someone and harming someone and being a hate preacher. That makes you civilized. That makes you uncivilized, my friend. I'm, that's what you don't understand. I'm preaching the, what uh, Allah and Muhammad preaches. Really? I, I, I really? Just, I'm do, just retelling. Wow. I am just retelling what you. So you would uh, call yourself a Muslim. So if you're teaching and following what Allah teaches Muhammad teaches, are you, teach, are you saying you're a Muslim? No. No. You're not a Muslim. Yet you're following the teaching. But, I, but I'm learning people what... You're learning from no teacher whatsoever. You're learning this on your own. I'm learning it from Allah, Muhammad, um, even if you follow it, Al-Tabari, you follow it, it from... Uh, you're just name dropping. You're just name dropping a bunch of things to sound a little bit more sophisticated when you actually don't know nothing. It's fine. You can believe what you want. It's not believing. You're you're showing that. that I've, I'm, I, today I'm going to have um, that's, that's, that's two speeches here. Are you? I've, I've had uh, let's say hundred speeches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does that make you feel good? No. But it makes you feel good. It makes you feel popular, doesn't don't it? Don't interrupt. It makes you feel good. It don't makes you feel like really strong. The point is, not any not uh, makes you feel good. has uh, any Muslim like been able to to point out? Oh, this law says this, and that's wrong, and that's because what you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is absolutely wrong. Uh, well, it's unethical. Let, uh, you heard what I said. It's unethical. You heard it's what unethical. I said. It's unethical. You heard to burn said. someone's holy book not is unethical. Not to harm someone not under not the banner of freedom of speech is unethical. Muslim Knowing the fact that it hurts someone and harms someone, it is unethical to do that. No Muslim has ever been. Yeah, able because you're surrounded around cops and things like that, I so no one would even touch you either. No Muslims has ever been able to point out what I, some, something wrong in what I said. I just did. What you're doing is unethical to burn someone's holy book. Forget Muslim. If you would have been doing this for Bibles, I would have been protesting for them. I would have been protesting for my Christian brothers and sisters of humanity if you were burning Bibles. I would have been. But, uh, I would have. It, it's, um, and that's wrong. I want to be clear. You are proving quite clear that you don't fit in to a civilized democratic society because Demo you, democracy you does not promote this you don't democracy does not promote someone's respect. burning someone's well, book no it does not you don't so freedom of speech respect. means that you could do whatever you want and say whatever you want no 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 but so there what's the border for the seat what's there the limitation depends on what country you are in so in this country what's the limitation of freedom of speech we have a hate speech laws. Uh, yeah. So every so every country has different hate yeah. speech laws. Different. So is it really freedom of speech if there's limits to your speech? No, but uh, I didn't. I didn't. Approve that's that. the point. That's the point. Uh, that's the, uh, point. the European That's why you won't even say you hate Muslims or Islam. I can say it's not uh, illegal to say that. So you, but the, but you've never not once said that you hate Muslims or hate Islam. No, I don't think I'm, I'm because you don't hate Islam. No, you don't. So you love it? No. So, Islam, ah. Islam, Islam, <laughs> did you see that? No. Is, did you see that? The, the, Islam, he's like, Islam no. It's disgusting political doctrine. So That's you hate it. We, it's nasty. What's in your head? There's something wrong in your head. No, it's actually very fine. Black and white. Listen, you're, the Quran burner is asking, the hate preacher Quran burner is asking me if there's something wrong in my head. When in your head it sounds like it's okay to do what you're doing. What you are saying is either you hate or you love. But there's a lot of things between hate and love. So what's in between hate and love? That's what you feel Everything for Islam. Else. So everything else is what you feel for Islam. 
No, not everything. So you else. have mixed emotions as about I, Islam. As I, I think you're a secret as Islam lover. I think you're a secret Islam lover. As I have told right? you. Right? You're, you're secretly love Islam. That's stupid. As I've told you. Secretly you, love you, it. Hey, stop doing it. You do, though. I can tell you're as obsessed I have with told you. You're obsessed with Islam. Islam. You love Islam it. Islam is a political uh, you love doctrine. It. That you love. That you're obsessed Islam. with. That's uh, that you can't, you can't, yeah. Destroyed. Okay. Uh, that you love and adore. It it has destroyed more than fifty countries. Got you. It that you love and adore. It has killed more than two hundred. You're obsessed with Islam. And it gets your juices going. You've become popular because of my religion. How do you feel about that? Like a little child. Yeah, I am a child though, right? While a grown man over here can't see that a child is telling him that what they're doing is hate-filled. So who's really the child over here? Is it is is age dependent on how old a person is biologically or mentally? You believe that what you're doing is correct in a democratic society. Yeah, that's right. It's right. Yeah. Okay. And that's as I said. That's it, childish. It it proves no. It proves that. It you, does. You're childish. You don't fit into a democratic society. I do. You should be. Removed. I do because in my ethics and values, this I should be deported. Where? Where do I go? Pakistan. I don't care. Why? Well, you don't care. You don't care. Well, where do I go? If this is my country, where do I go? This country belongs to the white people, doesn't it? It belongs to Norwegians. Norwegians are what? Not. Muslims, because if you are Muslim, so so one second, one second. So if someone says because so, of your values, okay. If if you held values that's opposite to our values, what are your values? Yeah, you still haven't been able to tell them. about that. Yeah, and you were able to say a whole bunch of nothing then, and you're still saying a whole no, bunch of nothing now. No, it's quite uh, what's quite clear. I said that our values is based upon trust. Your so Norwegian values teach you to burn someone's holy book, and that's okay to do it. No, but you are upset. It doesn't. You are obsessed with I'm obsessed. Yes. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Quran burning, yet you have gained popularity by burning someone else's holy book. You have nothing to stand upon your own. Let me say, people trying to kill me all the time. But that makes you feel important. Feel important? Yes. You think I want to feel important? Yes, you do. Yeah. It, it, drives, it drives people. It drives people. It drives people to do what they do. I get my importance by helping people out. You get your importance by burning a book of someone that holds value to someone else. That's where you get your importance. That's the difference between you and me. As I said, I've had hundreds, hundreds of speeches and I've burned, uh, let's say. Look, you're trying, are you trying to flex on us? You're trying to flex that you have a hundred speeches like someone cares. I'm trying to inform you that no you're trying to sound like an authority on this matter no, 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 no. yeah when I'm you name just, drop you're trying to flex I'm and that you're an authority that you don't hundred speeches you, you could be, be because i'm because fantasizing that burning someone's holy book is wrong are, that's a fantasy a fantasy yeah it's you're fantasizing the fact yes. that burning someone's holy book is wrong and i'm saying that it's wrong and having that hatred for someone is wrong you're saying that's a fantasy yep it's a fantasy and, and you have a uh, during this uh, this talk you had a, quite a lot of fantasies about Did me I? and what i think no you're fantasy. a cloud chaser that's not a fantasy that's a fact you are gaining you're gaining your platform you're gaining your platform by making sure that you're using someone else's book to burn you wouldn't do, one you wouldn't even do that to anyone else's book because you know the amount of popularity and views you get from muslims come on am, you're welcome I can i just say you're welcome part of you've never even thanked me you haven't thanked my religion you haven't thanked my faith for gaining all this man like you welcome when do i get a cut of what you've made huh when do i get a cut of that of all these speeches that you've given 100 cut? where's our cut you're getting popular and earning money and earning popularity based off our religion where's our cut huh where is it? You've gained popularity. You no, know, you're childish. You're childish. Why are you so obsessed by money? Huh? You're obsessed with my religion. Yeah. Yes. And that's because it's a political doctrine. But you're obsessed it with it. It's not. And that's because it commands you to yeah. kill me. And okay. And, 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 and you're obsessed with that. my wife, my daughter, I don't like that. Got you. So it's so if so it was people. up to Muslims, you say so that we'd be... We'd be you are, you heard it here, guys. You are Who's saying that we are? The police. The police is saying that. Yes. Really? So when a cop comes over here, I'm going to ask him, hey, are Muslims rich people? We have, we have statistics from the courts. But remember once again, you said Muslims and Islam are two different things? Yeah. So if a Muslim does something wrong, how does that represent Islam? That's, uh, if, a, if a Muslim uh, does something that's wrong according to my ethics, but is uh, the same thing is okay according to his ethics. So Islam doesn't teach you to have any type yes, of uh, uh, untype of sex or anything like that, right? You so a person who does something like that, they are acting on their own. 
If they're acting on their own, how is that a representation of the entire religion? If someone is drinking alcohol, how is that a representation of the religion? That makes them have weakness within them. That has nothing to do with the religion. The problem is, Lars, every time you want to make a point that fits your agenda and what you're trying to accomplish, you you make Muslims and Islam seem together. But the moment that doesn't make sense, you're like, no, I don't have a problem with Muslim. Muslims and Islam are two separate things. You literally make no sense. The following. Yeah. You are, this is the second time you take, bring in alcohol in the, in the debate. Okay, what else do you want to bring? Uh, what else do you bring me something the point, else? The point is, a Muslim drinking alcohol does something un-Islamic. A Muslim... Yes. A Muslim... Why is it un-Islamic? I'm not finished. Um, <laughs> why is it un-Islamic? I don't care. I don't, I don't you don't care, care why it's un-Islamic? I don't care whether Muslims drink alcohol because it's not a problem to me. Aha! I'm, I'm, I am not finished. What's this? What's I this? I am not finished. Okay, what's when, this? When the Muslim... My wife, it's... Who? Who f***ed your wife? The Muslim. You must f raped your wife? A Muslim f***ed his wife. Do not did a Muslim f*** your wife? Not because uh, Because he's saying when a Muslim rapes a wife, did a Muslim f*** your wife? Me. Was your wife f***ed? Do not interrupt Are you me. trying to tell us something right now? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. That your wife I'm is f***ing. trying to tell, but you shut up and let me Would answer. Your, was your shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Don't tell me to shut you up. Was your wife f***ed? You are You're saying your wife was f***ed. When? Who raped your wife? When Let's get them in jail. Who you are wife? so primitive. Try You're the one primitive. You said you have no. Listen, you listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. You could put this, put this away. You could put that away. You could put that away. You could die of this. Man to man, don't tell me to shut up. You understand? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Let me finish. Let me tell you something right now. Do not tell me to shut up. Do not. You need to watch your mouth. Let me finish. You need to watch your mouth. When a Muslim, watch your mouth. When a Muslim. Your wife. Um, Did someone your wife? When a Muslim yeah. an infidel woman, yeah. it is according to Islam's doctrines because yeah. the Prophet did it. So it's wow. not wrong. Look at that. The alcohol is wrong because Got you. it's wrong. But f***ing is okay. Is okay because so like your wife f***ed, that was okay? You are trying to, to, to distort the argument. I'm asking you, you know. Question. When your wife was f***ed, that was okay and that was done by a Muslim. Which when, Muslim f***ed your wife? When Muslims our women, it is okay because Muhammad was he uh, infidel women and he was got you. So, so when a Muslim wife that you mentioned earlier, who was that? Where were you to defend her? Why weren't you there to defend her from this Muslim? You are acting stupid. You You're know, the stupid. You know. Let's be honest. This is You're the stupid one. Sunnah. You're trying to make sunnah. it's sunnah to. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we've been practicing Islam in this deen the whole way, incorrect. Sheikh Larsh has told us that it is a sunnah woman, wow. What else is a sunnah? Go ahead. To kill, plunder. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, once again, practicing Islam the wrong way. It's a sunnah and kill people? Go ahead, what else? Tell me. All the other nasty things that that false prophet did is good. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Okay, so what else? All. All of them. There's so many. Tell me more. Don't you think that is enough? So he has two arguments. Notice two arguments. More and killing. Go ahead. What else? No. I said plunder, slavery, all so the big. nasty things, torture, all so, the nasty so Muhammad things. Muhammad was slaving people. Yes. Not the West. And he was. Not the West. The West were, was no, enslaving people. Hang on. Let me answer that. Go ahead. So the West wasn't enslaving people. I'm going to answer it if you, if you don't interrupt me. Uh, during the time, let's say, all dynasties since man stood up on two legs has been, uh, to some degree, based on slavery. Okay. And slavery is bad, con uh, considering, uh, due to our ethics, con slavery is bad. Um, okay. And that's why white people in Europe, mainly England, but also in Belgium, um, stood up against slavery and also made the um, Americans to abolish slavery in the 1860s. Um, so the, the civilized world stopped slavery. Uh, Can you get to your point and make sense of something, Lars, please? Uh, but, uh, because the prophet is the, um, the eternal good example, the best behavior. Okay. And he was he took slaves, he bought slaves, he okay. sold slaves, he gave away slaves. Okay. Because of that, slavery okay. is sunnah. It's always okay. good. And uh, the slave market in Saudi Arabia, I think it closed in 1966. Okay. But still, there are slavery today uh, in the Islamic countries. Okay. And it will be for eternity because it's good Islam because okay. of Sunnah. Okay. So in your idea, in your ideas, in your ideas, what we're trying to do is enslave you guys as well too. Yes. 
The, so we're trying to enslave you. The, um, the Quran says so, and the history. So what's stopping me from enslaving you? What do you think is stopping me? Years ago. Okay, so cool, this doctrine of ours. What's, what's stopping us from enslaving you? Go ahead, talk to us. But you're not strong enough. Uh, uh, so once we're strong enough, we'll be able to enslave you? Yes. So what are we going to do when we enslave you? The, the history shows that... Uh, what will we do when we enslave you? Go ahead. What are we going to do when we enslave you? What uh, masters do to slaves? What, 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 so tell us, what are we going to do? Don't be stupid, you know what the slave, no, what are we gonna slave do? works, they get fed, they work, they die. Okay. Yeah. So can, can a slave buy his freedom? Probably, yes. Probably. How should he buy his freedom? You tell you know, me, you're, you're, yeah. you're the scholar in Islam, yeah. tell them how they yeah. buy this freedom, right. go ahead. Let me tell you. Um, how, does a, how does a slave buy their freedom? Tell us, yeah. scholar. I'll tell you, if you don't Sheikh think. Lars. Yeah. Uh, when, um, when the Muslims had By the way, thank you so much for this appeal. Dawa Center and Masjid in Norway, the largest one of its kind. All, all, you're you're, you're the, the, the you most generous person here. I appreciate you. Me again. Go ahead. When the Muslim barbarians had slave rights in Europe. Um, how do you buy the slavery? How do you make buy? How does the slave buy his freedom? Tell us. I'm telling you. Uh, they took more According to the Sunnah, right? According to that, you mentioned Sunnah. So tell me about the history and the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, so awesome. How do as a slave buy their freedom? Go ahead. When the Muslim barbarians had slave rights in Europe and took, uh, what Europe? Tell me how the Prophet. Remember, we don't go about Europe. We talk about the Prophet Muhammad, Allah's book. Tell me about the book. Tell me about the Prophet. Like a baby. Go ahead. Stop interrupting. Go ahead. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me how did the Prophet Muhammad do that? Go ahead. You are interrupting. But you have no argument. I know how they bought it. Tell me. Yeah. Go ahead. You're interrupting. Go ahead. Yeah. Get to the point. How did they do it? I think you could be a great politician because you're you fill up and you interrupt. I learned from the best right yeah. here. When when did I interrupt you? Huh? I haven't interrupted. I don't need you to because you're you're saying a whole bunch of like uh, like a bunch of smoke over here. Should you haven't. How does yes, a slave buy his freedom in Islam? Yeah. According to our text, our well, sunnah. How? I'm going back to that. I, I'm. I'm uh, Europe know, didn't I'm exist. Places. Europe didn't exist, so tell me how. I'm answering it, but just you are uh, obstructing me all the time. Oh. Look, look, notice way. these victimized words. You're obstructing me. Calm down, man. When no one's obstructing have, you. Go ahead and tell us. When we have an argument, the, 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 it's supposed when to be... When a person like, doesn't have an answer, they go round and around and around. And that's... And that's stop. Am I? Stop, stop, yes. Then answer the question, how do you buy the freedom? Just look at the golden rules uh, discussion here. Once again. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. A whole bunch of made-up stuff. How does one buy the slavery according to the Muslim faith? The golden rule is made up. It doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, when what was that? When was that your was that your act of being funny? Like it, it, it really when failed. The, when the Muslims has had these slave rights in Europe, they took more than a million uh, white slaves because white slaves were the most expensive one because the Muslim sexual predators like to have white women as sex slaves. Okay. Yeah. So how, how can someone buy the freedom? were taken to um, to the Middle East or Turkey. They um, they um, notice how you haven't answered the question. But go on. I you're am, trying to give I us. A, you're talking about Turkey that didn't exist at the time. You want to talk about the doctrine and the Sunnah. Have you heard about? You're talking about the Sunnah. Look, when you want to talk about the doctrine, you do. When you want to talk about history, you do. You don't even talk about the doctrine when you want to. You're not even. You are an ignorant man. You're an you ignorant are, you are, man. I don't even know if I should call you that. Because you know you, that you, Show you me where the how how did in Islam how does one buy their freedom? Not like the story. So you're trying to. No, my my mind. viewers don't may like a whole I bunch of continue? BS. May I continue? Yeah. Unless you're talking about that, then no. Unless you're going to tell me how in Islam how the Prophet did it, how in the Quran says about buying these freedom, slaves, how does one get their freedom? These slaves who were held uh, in Islamic countries. Salam how are you doing? You okay? You listen to this guy, listen to him. He, he wants to he wants to say that it's okay to burn holy books and he thinks it's, it's okay. Convince the Norwegian man why is it okay. Uh, Lars, once again, why don't we ask a Norwegian person? Let's pull up a person and ask him it's okay, it's a democratic Western system to burn someone's holy book. Go ahead, show me one person that would agree with you. Show me one person that would agree with you. Definitely Look, once again, you're becoming a victim again. When things don't go your way, uh oh, you're behaving rude, you're behaving like a child, you're obstructing me. Yeah, yeah. Show me one Norwegian, show me one person that thinks it's okay to burn someone's holy book. Norwegian, Norwegian values? Um, a good uh, example of how a good Muslim is. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, I am no. a good Muslim. A good Muslim. I am. It's a bad person 
A good Muslim is a bad person. Listen to that oxymoron. Listen to the oxymoron. A good Muslim is a bad person. Wow. That's because Muhammad was a bad person. Was he? Yeah. So how did they free slaves? How could a slave buy his freedom again, according to Muhammad? Muhammad was a bad person. According to him? According to Ibn Ishaq. If you read his sirah, Once again, guys, proving the fact that Lars has nothing, no leg to stand on. Uh, so, as back. you see, as you see, yeah. again, Lars, you're just you're just talking a lot, but you haven't answered any questions, right? Yeah, the camera's over here. Your yeah. ear, your ear doesn't work, sir. Stay on this side. My camera's over here. Let's stay on one side over here. Let your camera see what's happening over here. According to you, Lars, and according, just so you know, the Norwegian democratic value ethical system says that it's okay to burn anyone's holy book. So it's not that he's favoriting Muslims right now. He would burn a Bible or a Torah if he had to. We all know that if you try to touch the Jewish book, you'd get canceled like this, my friend. Cancelled by who? You'd get cancelled. Go mean, ahead and try it. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's take that one. A bit. Please. You know, it's it's uh, not you would. It's the stopping of Islamization. You would. But if you got a Torah, yeah, let me, hey, Lars, hey, hey, hey. if you got a Torah and you burned a Torah, it is game over for you. Don't even play yourself. Please, please, please. Don't even play yourself. And you know why? Because that's not that same 10%. The Muslims are 10% over here, but the way the Jewish people are and how combined and powerful they are, you know they would shut you down. Do it. I am already being shut down by big tech. You would burn a Torah. Why should I do that? But would you? No, why should I? Or would you? It's not a political doctrine that's uh, threatening to destroy Norway. Okay, but Islam but is. But still, uh, yeah. you, you're, you're, you're taking this. You love Islam. Uh, Why is he so obsessed with Islam? You know, he's like in love with it. You know what I mean? You can just tell, you could tell that this, you could tell, you could tell that you are in love with Islam. You're just in love with it. You love hating it. You love hating Islam. I am. You need to act your age yourself. You're probably a grandfather or something. Is this the values you want to teach your grandchildren to hate someone's beliefs and values because it goes against yours? I would teach my grandchildren to hate about the doctrines of Islam. Of hatred. You're teaching yeah, your grandchildren that hatred. if you don't agree with someone's beliefs and values, you should hate it, you should burn it, and you should not care about it, their feelings, or nothing because it goes against your values. And since I'm the white man and I'm superior, I can do whatever I want. Do whatever you want, but you have to do it within the limits of the law in the land you are. And that's what you're doing, right? So this is freedom of speech. Yeah, it's freedom of speech. But when I started talking about your wife, you got really, really upset. But that wasn't freedom of speech, right? When I started talking about your mom, that wasn't freedom of speech, right? Because, because it hurt your feelings, Lars. It hurt your feelings. But you just told me that facts and feelings are two different things. To, to, to tell you about feeling is not a relevant argument. Feelings it not, it's not an argument. Feelings... So when, you, when we talked about your mom, when we talked about your mom or your wife, why did you get so defensive? Did your feelings get hurt? Did your feelings get hurt? Yes or no? No. Your feelings didn't get hurt. So now you're proving the fact that you have no pride in defending your mom? You have no pride in defending your wife. What kind of man are you? The problem with you is... What kind of man are you who doesn't care about defending his mom or his wife? What kind of man are you? What about your children? You are not able What about your children? You don't care about them, your grandchildren? You don't care. So someone says something about your grandchildren. Someone says something about your mom. Someone says something about your mom or your wife. You're okay with that. not a civilized person. You're not a civilized person. You're not a man. You're not a man. You have no pride. You have no dignity to defend your mom. You have no dignity to defend your mom. You would let someone violate your mom because that's who you are as a man. It's gross and disgusting. The fact that you're okay with someone violating your mom shows what kind of man you really are. The fact that you're okay with someone saying something about your grandchildren or your wife shows what kind of man you are under freedom of speech. That's not freedom of speech. That's hate speech. If I started violating your mom, if I started violating your wife, if I started violating them, that's not freedom of speech my friend that is hate speech because I'm doing something that causes you to get angry and I know it causes you to get angry that's hate speech that's hate speech that's our Muslim mindset no one is okay no one is okay let me let me ask you homie real quick right off camera real quick right would you be okay with someone talking about your moms yes or no no hell no hell no and look but what if I said that's freedom of speech but, but you see, you see, right? That's where the border is. What's freedom of speech? Where do we put the line? 
a freedom of speech versus hatred. I know that would hurt you. So that's why I would insult you about that. If a man knows that someone is getting hurt because their book is being spoken about that they love and adore and they a prophet that they love and adore and they care about and you're doing it on a purpose, that's bullying, that's hate, that's insight. Does that make sense? Yeah. And see, that's what this large person doesn't understand. And when we started talking about, as an example, about your mom and how it's not okay to just talk about someone's mom or someone's wife or something like that, that's when he got a little bit more defensive. You see, even a child knows this. Even a child knows this. Respect. Uh, peace up, bro. Uh, big homie, you're, you're a real one over here. Okay, fine. Because you see, the general population don't think like you. The Norwegian people are actually good people. You understand? It is you who are giving Norwegians the bad thing. If anyone needs to be deported or removed, it needs to be this dude. This dude needs to be deported or removed. Where would he go? I don't know. Put him in the mountains where he belongs, bro. This type of backwards idea and mindset needs to go somewhere else. You need to leave Norway. You're, Norway needs to get rid of you. You're like a domestic terrorist. This is a hate preacher right over here. I'm surprised he's not even arrested. I'm surprised he's not even arrested. Arrested. You deserve to be in the mountains or some sort of hillbillies or something. Your mindset is backwards. You're giving the people of Norway, who are good, decent people, a bad name. Under your hate speech, under your act of freedom of speech, you're, you're, you're literally deluded within your mind. You might even be possessed. Honestly, he might have a gin in him. Honest, I won't lie, he, he might actually even have a gin in you. For real. The, the way you have behaved the last five minutes proves that you doesn't my behavior doesn't prove anything. I can behave how I want to behave because I'm my own man. You're over here getting clout by burning my book. You're getting clout by burning my book. Oh, I gave a hundred speeches. No one cares. You're trying to flex that you get your clout chaser. The, the point there is... You're a clout chaser. The, the point there is that I... The point is you're a clout chaser. The point is you're a clout chaser. You're getting fame and popularity by taking my uh, book and my if, beliefs and my values that, and running with it. If that had been true, I would have burned books. true. Why didn't I burn Qurans? You wouldn't, you wouldn't. Years because ago. you didn't have the balls to do it. Okay, so and now the law supports you, so you do it. So you did grow balls. It's the law that you hide behind. You wouldn't do that in front of us. You really wouldn't. You know why? You know why? You know why? You know why? Because there isn't a police around you. There isn't a police around you. You understand? No, no, no. That's because you're not really a man. You're not really a man. You're not. Most of the time. You're not a man, most really not. Nah. Like, yeah, like you need you need some more dignity, I, bro. Most of the you time. You need more dignity. Hey, most of the hey times. don't tell me, most hey. Most of the don't times. Don't tell. Hey, hey, we could cut all this garbage off. Yeah, I'm right. not one of them. You understand? I'm not one of them. You are a verbal violent ape. Yes. Okay. Sure. That's what they say, right? Most of the time. L I listen, homie. I can say what I need to be saying. Most of the time. Say that again. I burn the Quran. Wait, how am I? How am I threatening with violence? If you tell me, hey, if you say, hey, if you wag your hand in front of me, let me tell you something. This is the real world, bro. This ain't no cameras on. Off camera, you're actually a decent man. On camera, you're a clout chaser. Off camera, homie was trying to get us an umbrella. Off camera, he was acting nice. Off camera, he had manners. On camera, this is how he behaves. You're a cloud chaser. I'm responding to your accusations, and I'm responding to your lies, and I am responding to your Islamic behavior. You behave like a Muslim. I behave like a Muslim, and how's that? That's so quite uh, yeah. uncivilized, okay? Zay one. Okay, I got you. Hey, listen, Lars, it's been real. Thank you so much for this amazing uh, oh, job that you're amazing. doing. Yes, it is. And you know what? The truth is this. You're, the thing that you're trying to eradicate, you're only establishing even more. By your hatred, you're only proving the fact why we need a Dawa center and mosque in the country of Norway. And it's going to be the largest Dawa center and mosque in the country of Norway. And it's all thanks to you right now. Because this thing that you are trying to eradicate, you're only establishing more. You're showing the fact that you're a hate preacher and hate will only produce hate. The fact that your family is around you and I pray that someone gets guided out of your family so they could be like, yo, this dude is wrong. Like your wife, the fact that she hasn't said that, yo, what you're talking about is wrong. The fact that your children haven't said that, they're wrong. You're, the fact that your grandchildren one day, inshallah, will wake up and say, yo, grandpa, you look like an idiot. I don't follow this at all. You need to be a real man and understand that by hating someone's beliefs and values, if it goes against yours, doesn't make it right for you to hurt them and harm them. You understand? You need to show respect and values for them. And that's not no democratic Norwegian system. Norwegians are good people at heart. Norwegians are civilized good people. And the fact that you're giving Norwegians a bad name, you need to be deported or detained. You're disgusting. I'm defending Norway against you. Huh? 
You are. Are you following you, me now? Yeah. You following me now? Been, you're doing that for. Uh, Listen, I don't now? go that way. Just no. so you know, right? You know, all respect, but I don't go that way. So if you're trying to do that, if you y'all two are a couple, you know, don't follow me like that, homie. If I'm backing away from you, you're done, no, bro. You're never you're never when? You're, you're, yeah, do you do you need do you need your partner to defend you? Notice care. notice that one two remain silent because he's speaking in your bad ear. Tell him in his good ear. I remember I have it on film. They come I have it on film too. Huh? And? What did I lie? Did I tell? I'm done and I'm walking away. He's a cloud chaser who's getting views from this. So let me answer. Go ahead. How could we communicate if I can't answer? Your you beliefs and values are based around supporting a man. About me. What, you uh, what's your values? Try. So you're you okay with it? A shit about me. Okay, so tell us about you. What do you believe? It's not about me. What do you believe? Lars met up with you to try to have a civil conversation. Do you believe you in what he's doing is correct? You, you think it's correct to yeah, burn someone's beliefs and values? values. What I'm kind, not going to waste my time on people. Because people. you know you're not going to speak the truth. The truth is this. You I'm support this. I'm trying to answer you, but you cut me off and you talk when I answer. Answer the question. You support that. Support what? His burning of anyone's holy scripture. I've been at his stand and burned the Quran. You told us we were afraid. Yeah, so you... So you I had no... Protection. When so I that makes you so. Oh, you feel really strong then, huh? No, it has. You feel strong. It has yeah? nothing to do with that. Uh, you feel it's good. You're you telling lies. What? What lie am I telling? The fact that you think makes you a mighty macho ten, man ten by ago. making a macho man by burning someone's holy book can, by harming someone's can, beliefs and again, values. you won't let me answer. You think that's okay? It's okay to do that. The fact was, you told us we were afraid. We would only do it with police protection. I had no. F in protection when I was at Hajj demonstration, Morton Sur, or all the other Quran burnings. Okay. So you have to stay with the facts. Okay, the facts is you're just a hate-filled person who that doesn't care and they will burn it no matter Quran what. Quran burnings are not with police protection. If you are going to comment, That's a fact. I tell everyone, even my supporters, yeah. if you're going to comment so People support again, you? Again, again. Walk away, you could do that. You can walk away. You have, you have, you have some, your supporters, it is my show, it is my show, it is my show, I, 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 and I dictate what we say. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Take a good look at me, take a screenshot too, take a screenshot too, and tag me as well too. Yes sir, you already know, you already know, Zum Zum Boy merch out now, you already know, go shout and cop that too. Listen man, you're, you're a pure joker yourself, you have supporters, the fact that someone you even support and see that this is correct is wrong within itself. So because you have a few supporters, you think it's right? Just because someone supports you doesn't mean it's right. Uh, uh, I, I tried to answer uh, it, but it wasn't okay, let's, let's, let's answer that. Uh, the, the, the question whether something, some action. Are, are we done with this, by the way, or, or are we, what are we doing with this? It's, it's a brick wall. This is like, where, where is this going? Again, every time you the, the question answer, whether some okay, So tell, one second, one second. Is anyone talking to you? Thank you. The question whether some action is good or, or not good is um, well, stick to your, uh, to your um, ethics. You and I have uh, opposite ethics, so we can never agree. It's that My simple. ethics will never be your ethics. I to know. think that it's okay to burn someone's holy book, it's unethical. In Islam, it's unethical. In Islam, in Islam, burning someone's holy book is unethical. Fine. Fine, because it is. In Islam, it's ethical. It is. It is unethical. Yeah. But it's, in Islam, it's ethical to kill the infidels, to rape the women, to plunder, to torture. That's ethical because Muhammad did it. So okay. I don't want your ethics. Okay. I don't want your political solution. Okay. And I don't want you here. Okay. And I don't want him here. And we're gonna. That's why we. That, but that's the real. But that's the thing, right? Have that's have what he wants. He doesn't want us here. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't want him here. What about what about him? What about him? He's kind of brown. I don't, don't, I don't know. I haven't talked to him. But he's kind of brownish. You wouldn't want him here either. Have you asked him whether he wants Sharia in Norway? Say that again. Wait, wait, tell me, one second, one second, one second, one second. No one's saying anything about wanting Sharia over here in Norway. You're deporting someone because they're a Muslim. No. So Muslims are okay. Uh, depends on how we define Muslims. According to well, your? There's only one definition, and that's uh, what's the, the Okay, what's the definition? You, have, you have to submit to and obey the commandments of, of uh, Islam, the Quran, and therefore copy the, um, the behavior of Muhammad. Okay, so a practicing Muslim does all those things. Okay, no problem. Okay, cool. So if he's a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, and maybe that kid is a Muslim too, right? Do we belong here then? 
I can't answer you know, because I don't uh, haven't asked them. What's up? Let me ask him a question. Yeah. Okay. Do you support this type of behavior? I support uh, these people's uh, rights. By burning Quran? Yes. Why not? It is a book. Yes. It is a book that is very meaningful and close to billions of people. The same way the Bible is, the same way the Torah is, and it is wrong to do it to any book. Yes, but this is still Norway. It doesn't make it right.